Hello, is this working? Okay, it says I'm live. Hi, hello, and welcome to the midnight release stream of Pokemon Scarlet. We're not cheating. Uh, we are in Japan, so the game unlocks a little bit earlier for us. I think only Australia and some, like, Pacific Islands have us beat. Usually it takes, like, a minute or two before the game actually lets us play. So while we're doing that, uh, I've got I've got Mr. Fuecoco here. We're going to try and somehow... How do we get him in the frame? I've... Uh, make sure I'm recording. Thank you. I wasn't. You saved my life. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna try and get this on my head. I I have a string, and then if if we can't do it in like two minutes, we're just gonna give up. Uh, <laughs> come on, buddy. Okay, it's no, please. Does this mean I can post spoilers in the cellar? I'll say this now. Uh, this is a request to everyone. I have not been spoiled on pretty much anything, so please do not post spoilers. Let me put them on my shoulder. Uh, here we go. Uh, so please no spoilers. Uh, mods, if you notice any spoilers, please delete them. And when I say spoilers, I mean like anything. So uh, new Pokemon, gym leader types even. Just like, please don't tell me. Uh, oh, there goes the Fue Coco. I wish I had a crew. Uh, but please, no spoilers. Uh, unless I, like, ask about something specific. So if, if I say, like, hey, does this Pokemon evolve by level or something, then uh, I, I would like you to actually tell me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got him. He's on my shoulder. Ben S. I know that guy. Hey, Ben. Uh, I assume you're still in the United States, right? So you, uh, this is going to be a... A world first. Alright. Okay, here we go. Wait, Coco, please. <laughs> Obey me. I know I don't have any gym badges. But your Pokemon will actually never disobey you, even if, uh, sorry for doxing. No, I've said my full name on here before. Don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. And look at these beautiful emotes that you can use if you become a channel member. Uh, so you've probably noticed by now that this is not imported cheese fresh. So... Imported Cheese Fresh is officially expired. All streams will be here from now on. And that means that uh, channel memberships, there's only one place. If you become a channel member for the price of $1, you'll be able to use these premium emotes. I prepared some Gen 9 ones just for you. All right. Uh, I actually don't know Fuikoku's evolu evolutions, what they look like, or what the stats are, so please don't spoil it for me. But once I find out, uh, I'll, I'll be sure to give my opinion. Alright, uh, Fuikoku, you can see him, right? Alright, he's he's here for the ride. I hope the, uh, you should be able to hear the game, right? Yeah. Alright, here we go. I heard there are three starters, bro, no spoilers. <laughs> the console will use the internet to check whether the software can be played. Uh, let's check. Can I look at Fuikoku? I can, here we go. We're ready for our adventure. Here we go. Okay, oh, by the way, um, if anybody doesn't know what the Omori's Challenge is, it comes from a quote that director Omori gave when people asked about the... I haven't used our language. When people asked about uh, if there would be an option to disable the experience share, this was regarding Pokemon Sword and Shield. And he said, if you don't want to over-level, just put your Pokemon in the box. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. All right, uh, record. I am recording, thank you. All right, uh, well, we could always pick Nihongo, but we are going to do English for our first playthrough. Choose a look for ourself. Are we a boy or a girl? Um, I guess I'm this dark? What's my name? It's definitely Cheese, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna go with Cheese. Be a grill? Not grilled cheese, okay? Yes, um, so if you were a Pokemon, or if you were a fresh member, I cancelled everything, so you should have gotten a refund for your last month. Greedy streamer. Are you ready to start the games with these settings? Can I ch Okay, I can change my hairstyle, because I have black hair, so let's do that. Wow, there's actual text descriptions. Typical side break. I have to actually click it to see it? Okay, well, I mean, that's not a big deal. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess the um, hairstyles aren't gender-locked anymore. Pompadour? 
Oh, come on. Can I rotate? I can. <laughs> Are you the legendary Mario 64 speedrunner cheese? This kind of looks like my hair, right? Oh, but Pixie Cut? Dude, Fairy's a good type, though. Okay, <laughs> short crop. I don't know what all of these things mean. Asymmetrical Bob. Tasseled crop? Oh, this looks like my long hair, but I currently have short hair, so let's go to short crop, right? Yeah. Look at this customization. How do I change the color? <laughs> oh, here we go. Black. This should be easy. Yeah. Wow, what a Japanese person. I would like to go this style. So can I change my clothes? Oh, I can. Okay, wow. A Look at this customization. But I have to click each option. That's not that big deal. We're not going to spend too much time here, because we do want to actually play the game. Color contacts? No. But I have black eyes, right? That's kind of scary. Uh, I don't care about any of these options yet, right? We'll just change our... Can we get glasses? Maybe we have to buy them. <laughs> Alright. Let's play the game. I'm Spanish one from Paldia. Ooh. Alright, ready. Let's get into the game. Uh, also, um, Fue Coco uh, nicknames, please. Uh, just start thinking of them, because we are 100% choosing Fue Coco. Enrollment application, Naranja Academy, language English, name cheese. Yeah. Enrollment complete. Whenever you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. You can disable auto-save in the options menu. Okay. Is this Pokemon Conquest? <laughs> Naranja Academy. Alright, so, taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. Uh, really feels like there should be voiceover here, right? <laughs> Wouldn't voiceover be nice? Oh, I have to press A. It's time for you, too, to dive into the world of Pokemon. <laughs> Thanks for joining uh, the uh, channel, Watcher 2. Enjoy the premium Gen 9 emotes. Dr. Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. All right, I'll do the voiceover then. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. I can't believe I have to do the voiceover myself. Come on, guys. <laughs> Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. Why is this a still image? We humans coexist with Pokemon, as we both help one another to live and thrive. Why is this a still image? Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Why is this a still image? Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. You know what I'm gonna say. Hey, it's not a still image! And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential, it is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. Oh, we, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. That line auto scrolled. Hey, it wasn't a still -up. Hey, is it Corbin? Oh, it's, uh... Uh, Korai Dong. By the way, uh, so, um, Korai means past and Mirai means future. Name for Koko Togarashi? We might. That means pepper, by the way. So, is this pre rendered? This has to be pre rendered, right? Name for Koko Manzanita? Hey, look! It's a windmill. I, I literally have not seen most of the new Oh, okay, game sounds pretty loud. I can turn it down. Yeah, this is definitely pre-rendered, right? Oh, sorry. I can only... I know somebody became a member. I can only see a P, but thank you, P, for becoming a member. Hey, look, it's a lot of birds. I guess that makes sense, because they're showing flying.
probability of a new Eevee Illusion, given that we just saw an Eevee? I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming there's no Eevee Illusion, though. I haven't gone off this part of the game. Why are you posting spoilers? Please forgive me. Hey, gameplay! I still haven't pressed any buttons yet. You, I take it you will choose Hogeta? What gave you that idea? <laughs> oh, you can actually... Are you ready for gameplay? First ever Pokemon Scarlet gameplay. Here we go. Look at that. We got up. <laughs> we can walk, too. We really do walk. <laughs> We're super slow. Uh, now saving. I'm assuming we can... Okay, we can't run yet, I guess, because we're inside. Uh, menus? Oh, wow, we can already look at options. Uh, so, you know what option we have to do, right? Hell no. There we go, fast. Is there instant? Nah, just slow, fast, and normal. We're going fast, of course. Skip move learning. Oh, you can choose not to be prompted to teach Pokemon new levels as they level up. Interesting. Um, so if we skip move learning, if skip move learning is off, we do move. We do learn moves, right? We want that. Send to box is manual. We definitely want to do that. Give nicknames on, vertical, I don't know about camera controls, auto-save, auto we'll leave it on for now. Show nicknames, skip cutscenes off. Um, set battle? Maybe we'll get that option after we actually get Pokemon. New challenge mode, uh, no new moves. I think there's, uh, people do that. Set mode was removed. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so we just have to press B extra times? Uh, that's your mom's room. Better not go in there without asking. Okay. Oh, hey, look. So the camera kind of jerks around a bit. It's not that big a deal, though. I'm sure it'll be different in the, uh... Muncha! Is this like our pet? Oh, okay. You can just pet him. Set mode has not been removed. Just press B twice every time you knock out a Pokemon, and that'll get him. Good morning, Cheese. It's actually midnight here, Mom. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it's your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. House is enormous. Yeah, this is a fantasy game. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Oh, what is it? Hey, it's the doorbell. <laughs> Is it Jehovah's Witnesses again? <laughs> Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Jeez, get the door, would you? Mancha is Spanish for sport? Is it? Man of La Mancha? <laughs> Mom be looking good? We can't go into her room without her permission. Hi, Mom. Uh, oh, look at this uh, Pikachu magnet on the fridge. That's cute. It's the new fridge you bought when you moved. There are sandwich ingredients in it. Oh. Hey, um, members, be sure to use the new sandwich emote. I just added it for this stream. So I guess we should answer the door, which I'm guessing is over here by the doormat, right? We are really slow. Okay, he just teleported in. Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Cheese, yes? Oh, thank you. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. I love documents. <laughs> Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. This is the Headmaster. I'm the Director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. Uh, the Director. And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. Thank you, Okor. Enjoy the sandwiches. <laughs> so here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Wow, they act Bro, they actually handed over the, the documents. I don't believe it. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, no need to trouble yourself. Jeez, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Oh, dude, this guy's got the Premier Ball drip, though. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Okay. Como era, era clavel en inglés? I'm sorry, I don't know any Spanish. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a, a cuppa? This way. Is that like Spanish slang? I know they mean like a cup of tea or coffee, but I've never heard that in like American English. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Yeah, I've heard cup of joe, but 
they never stop at just kappa. <laughs> ah, it's British slang, okay. Well, thank you. Uh, Pikahira is actually from Britain, so... Confirmed. Give me my hat. Koopa! <laughs> Join me for a Koopa. Ready to put on your hat and grab my bag? What if I say no? Why even give me the option? Dude, they give you options when it doesn't matter. Yes, I would like to put on my hat and bag. Okay, no dressing animations. That's fine, though. <laughs> Illusion of choice. Oh, wow, your adventure guide. You can press the X button to open the main menu. Select the save option from this menu to save all the progress you've made on the adventure so far. When you open up your bag, you'll find some key items inside, including your adventure guide. Check it out whenever you want to review handy tips like these that you receive along your adventure. Okay. The player character looks weird. Hey, man, don't, don't hate on my choices. We're gonna try and make him look like me, but at the moment, uh, we, we can't. Uh, Carnation was the Kalos champion in Japanese, really? So now we do have our bag. What's in here? Do we start with anything? We don't have any Pokeballs. Okay, so we don't start with anything. Oh, we just start with the adventure guide. So let's see what the tabs are. Key items, picnic items, treasures, TM materials. TMs. Other items, berries, battle items, Pokeballs, and the medicines. Okay. The tilted walking animation going down the stairs. Well, he has okay. He has an animation going up the stairs, right? He he bends his knees. Wait, what, bro? Look at this. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Game freak, mom, can you help me? I'm, I'm I'm stuck in the stairs. I I really mean in the stairs, mom. <laughs> Mom, I mean, Ghost is a really good type, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, wait, what? Dude, they just tip, what? <laughs> Dude, look at, they literally just angle you downward. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, look at the last step. We phase right through the ground. What is this? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be generous. And assume that there really aren't that many stairs in the game like this. So that's why it looks like this. They just didn't prioritize it. We'll see. I'm probably going to get less generous as we continue. You're not quite ready to go to school yet. Oh, do I have to talk to... Oh, okay. You have to terrestrialize into a normal type to not clip the stairs? Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Jeez, do you have stairs in my house? Um, I don't. Uh, but I, I do live on the second floor, so I have to go up the stairs to get to my apartment. Uh, yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Cheese, a most important thing. Oh, what? But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Sure. Is he going to give us our starter right now? <laughs> I warned you, bro. I warned you about the stairs. We couldn't start with glasses. Uh, I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and shall we uh, and see, shall we? I'm assuming we have to buy glasses, but as soon as we can, obviously we're going to equip some glasses. Stranger danger, bro. He's we can trust him. He's the director of the academy. Okay, a little bit of rendering error. It's fine. I'm really pixelated in the background. Okay, okay, so I guess there's just gonna be rendering pop-in when we switch scenes. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. Oh, we do get the, uh, the starters now. Triple battles? Jeez, have you updated to 1.01 .01 for this game? It fixes some issues. I didn't get a prompt to download anything. We provide each student entering the Academy a Pokemon of their own. I'd ask you to choose which among these you'd like to have as your partner. Alright, so it's it's Fue Coco nickname time. Sprigato, the grass cat Pokemon. Guys, th there's no starter choice. I, we're choosing Fue Coco, okay? This is not a democracy. <laughs> uh, Spur. Fue Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. Coco Puff? People like Coco Puff. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. Pomp! <laughs> They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to leave my side. 
the naming is a democracy. The naming is a democracy, but not the, uh, uh, not the choice. Crocopuff, cheese and crackers, name him Totatile, cat, butterball. Uh, one guy said Togarashi. Togarashi is Japanese for pepper. So it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Cheese, than familiar old me. Cocobama? <laughs> Cocobama. <laughs> I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. Omori. Fue Coco is actually cute. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Cocobama, if you'll excuse me until we meet next. Cocomillion. Joe Biden. Cocobama. What a mannerly fellow of... Okay, people like Cocobama. These three are all lovely, but you need to cho choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Okay, it looks like Coco Obama's winning. Everybody votes for Coco Obama. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. Is it running shoes? No animations for that one. Oh, it's the Rotom phone. I, I assume the Rotom phone is important enough to animate, but maybe not. Rotom Phone, the latest model of smartphone. A Pokemon called Rotom lives within it and can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. Cool. It'll uh, help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Coco Obama. Dude, everybody is so thirsty for the mom. Oh. Oh, we don't get to choose quite yet. Okay. Can I run, please? Do I, do I talk to them here to choose, or not yet? I've pressed A. I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Uh, Alright. Okay, I, I cannot, I currently cannot run. Oh, okay, the handy rodent phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea region. Adding apps to it gives a trainer access to a variety of useful functions. Using the map app, you can find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over your own icon and move the right stick from side to side, you'll rotate your own view along with the map. Handy for getting yourself oriented. Hey! You can use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around the map and find locations. Select a location by pressing the A button. You can set as your next destination. Hey, waypoints! The flying taxi service uh, can take you to some places you visited before. Places that you can fly to are indicated with a feather mark. Try taking a flight. Hey, cool! Well, obviously we don't need this yet. I opened this menu by accident. I'm just trying to trying to run. Maybe a shoulder buttons? No. Okay, that's just uh. Ugh. Okay, well these assets look fine, right? We got grass. We got pumpkins. All right, so I guess we just have to walk to this house because we can't run. Hit. <laughs> Hit. Dude, they're ripping off... You know how, like, a lot of games have these slow walk sections to show off the graphics? But I think you should have graphics to show off in the first place. Hey, can we read this? Oh, no. I, I want to read the sign. Cabo Poco. Is that what the sign says? Okay. Oh, now we can run. What? The moment you pass this sign, you suddenly gain the ability to run. Okay. Is technology incredible? The power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. Gotta, gotta talk to that guy. Alright, so you mysteriously gain aerobic powers once you pass that sign. Very strange, but okay. At least, I'm assuming those are berry trees. Oh, this is pre-rendered for sure. Oh, this is the starter intro. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Okay, and we know Free Coco roasts this thing, right? Grass. Weak to fire. No, that's my- that's my Pokemon. Unhand him. Are you these three's trainer? Oh, that was really fast text. No voices, of course. Not quite, Master Cheese. Uh, not quite. Master Cheese has yet to make his choice, you see. I'm assuming this auto-scrolls. Yes. 
How do you have the energy this late? Committed to the day one, I see. I do wonder which... Oh, okay. Um, I slept during the day for this. Man, the, the cries still sound really weird. Can I say one spoiler that has been a long time coming? Uh, how big of a spoiler is it? Buenas! We haven't met, have we? I'm sorry for the terrible Spanish. I, I don't know any Spanish. Uh, I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? It's a Pokemon? Um, I will say no spoilers, please. Unless I, like, specifically ask about it. Uh, please refrain from spoilers. Including Pokemon. Uh, yes, this is our Academy's newest student. Master Cheese. He will be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Jeez, nuts. Uh, wanna be friends? I can say no? <laughs> That's mean. Well, what happens if I say no? Huh? What's wrong? Did I scare you off? Maybe I came on a little strong. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion rank trainer in her own right. Wow, a champion rank trainer. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Oh, okay. Easy now. You two will be in the same class. You'll have plenty of time to battle. We'll be in the same class? I'm like a child. She looks way older than me. And get to know one another better, of course. We're going to be neighbors and classmates? Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. <laughs> I only battle with my friends. Thanks, Brooklyn JP. By the way, guys, if you don't know, Brooklyn JP is the guy who physically films a lot of my videos. Uh, we're, we're, we're good friends. On that note, Master Cheese, well, I'm saying we're good friends. I'm not sure how he feels. <laughs> Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? We've decided. I've already cast up my vote. Here we go. Hang on. Uh, one second. I think I can do this. One moment. I think this will work. I, I get some prompts. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm doing right now, uh, blame YouTube. Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, generous 10 gifted subs from Imported. She's fresh. Wow. <laughs> uh, so, I can't actually gift memberships on my own stream. So, I have to join as someone else. Uh, a certain expired account. And now there's no music during this. Wow, that's kind of sad. I picked the wrong possible, the worst possible time. Craw? That's Fui Coco, a fire type Pokemon. Uh, how do gifted subs work? If you have gifts enabled, uh, then when somebody gifts subs, you have a chance to receive one. Uh, the burning hot sparks it scatters will fry any and all plants in a flash. Goodbye, grasses. What's going on with the shadows? I don't know, man. Would you like to go with our good fire-type Pokemon Fuecoco here? I, they even tell us that it's good. Well, yes, I think we will. Craw! I hope we got a good nature. Uh, bro, what's wrong with these shadows? You chose Fuecoco. Would you like to give Fuecoco a nickname? We would. Alright, so we need, like, some sort of, like, Obama-ism, like, speech. For when we send him out, right? Now, uh, uh, let me be clear. I'm gonna deal a lot of damage using fire-type moves. <laughs> uh, my fellow Paldeans. Now, uh, let me be clear. I deal a lot of damage. <laughs> I actually have no idea what his stat spread is like, so we're going to see. Coco Obama, alright, I've spelled this right. Or no, it should be... Obama should be the capital, right? Coco Obama. I really wish there was music during this. I mean, th that's like a real nitpick, but... I'm not sure why there isn't any music. Here we go, Coco Obama. 
I wonder if it's Charizard stats again. I, it looks kind of slow. Don't tell me the stats, by the way. Oh, hey, look! <laughs> I actually haven't seen this scene, so, uh... This wasn't planned. I'm serious, it wasn't planned. Not staged. Are the games out a day early? I live in Japan. So that's why I'm able to play it now. Fuiko seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Cheese. I, I really hope he has a good nature. Um, this is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. I'll be fine as long as it's like a neutral nature. Please just not a... Not, not a uh... Why, they, they don't have a return to Pokeball animation? They definitely have a return to Pokeball animation, right? There's no way they don't. Uh, cheese, I can't believe you actually chose Fue Coco. Why not? <laughs> Two dollar donation from, uh, Sila. Bring back the music. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, two euro donation. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two made such a good combo. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? So is she, is she our rival? So that means that she must be, is she gonna pick Quaxley? Please pick the one that's good against us. Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Cheese while he raises his own new partner. Okay. Can't use race twice in the same sentence. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Cheese here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! <laughs> Enjoy your not-fire-type trash. Since Cheese chose Fue Coco, I'll go for this little one. Oh, no. Uh, by the way, I added um, Fue Coco... A uh, uh, Sprigatito and Quaxley emotes. So if you're a member, you can uh, you can use all of those. There's there's small fire, small grass, and small water. You think yourself to a rival to a champion, brazen, but she doesn't even have a Pokemon. Nice to meet you, Sprigatito. Welcome to the team. Spur. Uh, memberships, by the way, there's only one tier. I set it to the um, least possible amount. It's um, $1 uh, because uh, I just want people to have emotes. <laughs> and the more members we have, the more emotes we can add. Uh, so please consider becoming a member. All right, then. I really need to do these rants over music, right? Because this is just boring. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. First Gen 9 battle. Here we go. Oh, okay, not yet. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. <laughs> As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It'll help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. She's giving you the advantage because she knows better? Yo, what are these Nimona apologetics? You're simping for her so hard. She's smurfing? What a scum. So let's see. Uh, let's actually check Foy Coco's stats, right? Oh, the auto-heal feature will automatically select items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon. To use auto-heal, highlight the Pokemon you want to heal from the main menu and press the minus button. Auto heal will use up the items in the following order: potions, fresh water, soda pumps, uh, super potions, lemonades, moo moo milks, and hyper potions. Interesting. Hey, that's cool. Uh, RPG staple. Can I exit the menu, please? Okay. Oh, hey, and there's a cute little uh, thing. Thing uh, like the Fue Coco. It's not a sprite, but like has a little portrait. That's nice. So can I look at my Pokemon? It. Oh, I go left. Okay. Check summary, change position, restore health, give an item to hold. I'm assuming we don't have any items. Yeah, we don't have any items. Check summary. Fire. Terra type is also fire. Um, does it show our... Uh, has uh, of course it has blaze. Minus special defense plus attack? I'll take it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Coco Obama. <laughs> now, let me be clear. I'm feeling uh, naughty today. You could say that uh, the essence of the American spirit is that we are uh, strongly defiant. <laughs> I should have checked its moves. Nimona over here. Okay. Do I have to talk to her? I have to press A. Okay. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, you ready to battle me, Cheese? I am. Let's go. <laughs> but special defense is such an important stat. Perfecto. I'm so excited. For this battle, I think I'll use... The starter's terror type will always be the same as their type. This is also true for most Pokemon. Okay. Miss Nimona. Oh, we're getting interrupted. 
I trust you remember that Master Cheese is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling? Bro, you don't, you don't know. You don't know how experienced I am. <laughs> Whoops, good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. Oh, so she does have high-level Pokemon. Okay, I guess I'll, tr I'll take this chance to trap my new buddy instead. I see. So the professor just stepped in and stopped us from getting completely wrecked. <laughs> Master Cheese? Come on, Cheese! Let's have us a fruitful battle. Okay. Well, she did pick the grass type. Oh, battle music? We finally get music again. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Alright. Spiritito. Does she have two Pokemon or just one? I know that uh, uh, Hauk or Hop had two. Oh, we get a little versus. Cool. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. I mean, you're about to get wrecked, lady. Battle, Pokemon, bag, run. Here we go. Finally, we got beats. Let's have a fruitful battle. Do we have a... Oh, we start with Ember. That's interesting. Now, I'd like to thank you all for attending my speech today. I'd like to start with a bit of a fiery dialogue. Oh, he's faster. I'd ask you to kindly die. Nah, he didn't die. You must have been studying up. Smart move. Fire is strong against grass. Yeah, how did I know that? Do you want to try do you want to try and throw the battle? The UI doesn't tell us which one is super effective. We can try and throw the battle. Oh hey, they cry during the battle. Throw for the content? Alright. I'm assuming that like like Gen 8, we can't lose. But maybe they, uh, maybe they changed it. Leer? So what Hop would do is he would get you within one hit of dying, and he just never would actually kill you. Alright, so the next scratch will kill us. We'll see if she actually does it. Oh, tail whip animation. <laughs> Finish him? Yeah, it looks like they, um, they will never kill you. We'll do one more leer, and then, uh, if not, we're just gonna finish him off. <gasps> oh, she kills you! Uh, it looks like I lost this election. I can't believe it! Yo! And we actually have to pay! You were overwhelmed by your defeat? Yo, we get to see the dialogue for losing. Oh, hey, if you can battle like that on your first try, you definitely have what it takes to be a trainer. Oh, I see. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again, just one more battle. Okay, so you can lose, but... Oh, no, no. I guess that happens no matter what. <laughs> pay to lose? I'm surprised they actually uh, kill you. Master Cheese and his Fuikoko are surely weary already from that last battle. Hey, at least you can intentionally lose. <laughs> ah, sorry, I got kind of caught up in all the assignment. I'm really sorry, Cheese. Same to your Fuikoko, too. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll win the next election, don't worry. <laughs> you two seem to be becoming fast friends, although you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? It would have been better with more Onyx. I'm sure he can learn a great deal from a champion ranked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Fireworks are flying in this battle! By the way, so it is really late here, so I'm gonna try to be kinda reserved. That's why I'm not, like, super duper excited about stuff. Oh, that reminds me, since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. Ah, oh, mobile gaming. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see for a second. The Pokedex app was added to your Rotom phone. Feels like that should be baseline, right? The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's so sad. It's quite the age we live in now. How would you describe technology? 
Oof, filling out a Pokedex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Oh, no, I suppose you can't. Yet no matter how much the, how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. Metaline? That is a truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you'll both work hard. I hope you will both work hard toward the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. That's a Japanese line. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Master Cheese to the Academy? You'd be doing me quite the favor. I'm surprised the dialogue in this game is actually pretty good so far. Yeah, it's fine. I still don't know what a cuppa means, but then I leave him in your capable hands. Alright, little one, it's time you and I were on our way. Okay, so the professor does raise the last one. Oomph. <laughs> Nimona in my head sounds like Dora. Hey, everyone! Hola! Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, cheese, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? Well, not in this game. I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. Okay, so do we get a mandatory catching tutorial? Press the minus button to open the Pokedex app on your Rotom phone and flash. You can also navigate the Pokedex by pressing X uh, from the map app. Interesting. Uh, let's see Foy Coco's entry. Ooh, the Pokedex app. Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex apps with fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught. Uh, interesting. Uh, open up your Pokedex to view all the volumes you've collected on a digital shelf and check out the rewards you can earn by pressing the X button. Oh. Press the plus button when looking at a Pokemon you've registered in your Pokedex. You can check that Pokemon's habitat to learn more about where they can be found and when they're active. Explore different areas as you adventure and meet tons of Pokemon. Okay. Cool. So, caught one. Oh, this is a nice aesthetic. I like this. Boy, Coco. Details. It lies on warm rocks and uses the heat absorbed by its square-shaped scales to create fire energy. Ooh. Cool. Alright. Follow Nimona. Why am I crouching? Can I... Okay, bees crouch, apparently. Uh, stutter? Are these clou... Stutter? Yo, what are... Th are these clouds? This is the shadow of clouds, right? Why are they so jagged? Okay. I hope there's music later. Oh, hey, here's an item. I think. Oh, Pokeball. Well, that'll be useful. Look at this rock, by the way. Hi, dude. Hello. Metal Gear? Alright, so we gotta go find the girl and she'll teach us how to... Oh, another item. Potion. There's an item behind your house? Okay. The root music is subtle here. It's a uh, Breath of the Wild ripoff. Go stealth? Metal Gear? Dun, dun. Oh, you can slide. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there should be music. I, I didn't disable music, right? All right, let's see what this is. Another potion. Okay, so you only get the prompt the first time it's a new item. That's good. Alright, well, I, hopefully there's music on the actual overworld. Hey, there's a mini-map. Looks like we have the technology. Hope we can roll. I don't think we can, but we can slide. Dun, 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 dun. There's supposed to be music? Oh, okay, I don't know why there isn't. Oh, here's music. Another Pokeball. I guess it's just the gym that doesn't have, or the beach that doesn't have music. Nine dollar donation from Mikey. Fe nine tier list when? Well, um, someday after we're probably gonna do Fire Emblem tier list in order. So we're gonna do seven and then eight and then nine. Are you catching a full six before the gym? I think we might try to do that. You can jump off cliffs and the animation is great. Oh really? Uh, here's a cliff. Let's jump. Hua! Oh okay. Well, we kind of just slid down. Uh, we'll test that once we find an actual cliff. Maybe you need to download the update. Why wasn't the update available before the game released? So this is a, this is a um this is a digital copy. So I'm assuming the digital copy starts with the day one update. No jumping. What do these other buttons do? What is this stuttering? That, it's stuttering for you guys too, right? Like every few seconds, 
it like stops for like half a second. Go to my menu and check? Yeah, we can do that. Oh, after this dialogue, I guess. Oh, jeez. I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. Well, we did get schooled earlier. We maybe shouldn't have thrown the match. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend. And I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Nimona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Choose your waifu. Now you'll be staying in the school dorm, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. We have an emote for that, right? Go ahead and go ahead and use it if you have the ability. I love proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Obtain sandwich from mom. Uh, you put the sandwich from mom in your bag's key items pocket. Sandwich, a dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, or other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal and out on a picnic. Go ahead and use the sandwich emote. Oh, and maybe you'd better take these too. Obtain five potions. Cool. Put the potions in your bag's medicine pocket. Use them on that precious little partner of yours, should it get hurt in battle. Uh, I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences uh, far from home. Just try to savor them all, the good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Uh, a, a TBH? I'm not sure what currency that is. Donation of 69. <laughs> Thank you from Svansi Ian. Have you ever been gifted Thai baths? I, I have not, so... <laughs> Thank you for your generous uh, Thai bath donation. Uh, oh, alright then. You two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Is the XP here perma on? Yes. Your mother's so nice, jeez. Hey! Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, Vamos! Hey, what does that mean? Come on, Vamanos! <laughs> I don't know the actual song. That's a Door the Explorer song, right? Come on, Vamanos! I, I... Come on, let's get to it. I, I know that you can do it. It's something like that. I'm sorry. I've never watched Door the Explorer. <laughs> Although, um... One of my friends was from Colombia, which is a, a Spanish-speaking nation, obviously. And apparently, in her version of Dora the Explorer, like, the Mexican squirrel, who only speaks Spanish in the English version, speaks English. <laughs> which is really weird. Seviper, no surviping. Or, um, Zangoose, no false swiping. Alright, this here is Poco Path. Hey, LeChonk! It's the path that leads to adventure for you and me. <laughs> she does sound like Dora. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close enough to battle, but you've got Foy Coco for that, right? And if you want to try to catch a Pokemon, you gotta use a Pokeball? A good old Pokeball. How did I know? I've got tons. Have a few. Thanks. You obtained five Pokeballs. You put the Pokeballs in your bag's Pokeball pocket. Oink, oink. Oh, is this a story catch? Oh, what luck. Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this LeChonk cheese. Alright, so something to pay attention to here. Okay, we like teleported. This tutorial might make the only A run impossible. Because if we're forced to catch this... We cannot do the only A run. So let's see. You can try to catch a wild Pokemon you were battling by pressing the X button and throwing a Pokeball. When you're having a hard time catching a Pokemon, try to deal damage to it before throwing another Pokeball. That should give you a better chance of success. Okay. I don't know if we have to catch him, so I'm going to try and kill him. And then we'll just catch another one later. Oh, this is the battle music, by the way. Okay, it's not a mandatory catch. So try and keep an eye out for things that will force the that'll force us to use buttons other than A. So far, the game seems possible with only A. One thing I'm worried about is because there's no set battle, 
if we ever have to do a trainer battle with more than one Pokemon on our side, um, we lose because we'll be forced to switch and we can't actually scroll to the next Pokemon. So keep an eye out for that. Nice, defeating Pokemon battle will help Foy Coco grow and get stronger. Next time, try throwing a Pokeball when a Pokemon's right on the tip of being defeated. You'll have a decent chance of catching it then. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works. Thanks for talking my smug barrel. Ten Pokeballs. Cool. We can Pokemon and then throw the Pokeball. Remember that and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. So the one button challenge is dead in this game? Not yet. Let's meet up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Oh. The Pokemon you see wandering around in tall Pokemon caves and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. When you run into wild Pokemon, a Pokemon battle will begin. You can also start a battle by looking towards a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it by using the ZR button. Try this tactic out to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the sky. There are double battles later. As long as we're not forced to use two Pokemon in the double battle, we'll be okay. So I guess we're gonna catch a Lechonk. So, um, Lechonk, uh, Lechonk, um, nicknames. Go ahead and think of some, because we're gonna catch this one. Can I not throw my Pokeball at it? Ditto was really cool in this game. Tail Whip. Kevin Bacon, Chucky, LeBron James. Let's see. Peppa Pig. Wow, we have 70 Pokeballs. Butakun. Haram Harambe. Okay, I like Harambe. <laughs> oh, wait, we couldn't nickname it? I guess we have to go to the menu. Oh, no, here it is. Lechonk's data has been added to the Pokedex. It searches for food all day, possesses a keen sense of smell, but it doesn't use for anything other than foraging. Ugh, normal type, though. I like Harambe. Uh, if people don't get that, Haram is, uh... It's, uh... It relates to Islam, it just means, like, things that are forbidden. Which, of course, includes, uh, pork. So, it is Haram. <laughs> Hello, cheese man. I will not stay long because I have to. I can't get my game until tomorrow. But have a good stream. Thank you for stopping by. All right. So, by the way, the um the rules for the uh Omori challenge is that uh, we have to like box our team after each gym. But uh, we can catch as many Pokemon as we want. We just can't use them uh, after they are um like boxed and out of rotation. Am I Muslim? Uh, no, but I used to be. Is this a Pokemon? Can we fight this? Hello? Can I, like, throw a Pokeball? Oh, okay. So doing... R throws a Pokeball. Oh, and that actually starts the battle. Okay. I haven't seen this Pokemon. Is this new? Ta 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 Tarantula. Okay, you can't move during the battle. Well, I'm assuming this is a bug, right? So... Probably Ember's gonna kill it. ZL locks onto a Pokemon, okay. Launch will use tackle. Wow, one damage. Uh, not impressed by this thing. Oh, let's. Oh, String Shot. Oh no, my speed. Okay, never mind. The name is just an animal name misspelled. I mean, that's most Pokemon, right? Alright, the ground looks horrific, but okay. ZR and R throws out your first Pokemon. Okay, well, I guess Tarantula nicknames? It's just a... Oh, it's a normal bug type. The balls of thread wrapped around its body is elastic enough to deflect the size of Scyther, this Pokemon's natural enemy. Ghost Tree Trevenant. <laughs> enemy Spider. Tarantula. Okay, so, so it's like round. So what should we name this? Spider? <laughs> Is it stealthy? Ariados V2? We'll just misspell Ariados. How about the... Oh. I pressed B. Uh, we can change nicknames from the menu, right? 
No, we can't. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> okay, I have to be careful. Maybe we can do it from boxes? How do we how do we change nicknames? Ah, oh, here we go. A change no, change markings. Maybe we have to go to a Pokemon Center? Oh, we can catch a hop up. So how do I lock onto this hop up? LR doesn't do that. No. No, I didn't want to fight. Okay, I want to fight Hoppip. How do I do that? ZL? I pressed ZL. Nothing happened. I'll just run. You got away safely. We didn't go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> Huge running animations. Uh, we'll nickname it as soon as... Okay, this Hoppip's on the ground, so I'm pressing ZL. And then I just threw the ball in front of me. Do I have to be even closer? I'm holding Z. Okay. Oh, just L. Okay, well, I just ran into Hapu. Is the XP chair able to be turned off? No. Alright, what do we want to nickname this Hapu? Hey, it starts with tackle. Hapu buffs. And I'll try not to mess up the nickname entry this time. Uh, is the Pokeball floating? What? <laughs> hoppity hoppity. I'm sure this hop will be MVP for the first gym. Yeah, I'm sure. Johto's finest number one. Name it Pip. How Pip? Okay. <laughs> He's in this game, too. Ow, Pip. I like it. Pokeballs tend to hover at the height where the Pokemon is caught. Too much work to make them fall, I guess. They didn't do that in Arceus, though. Alright, we got How, Pip. I'm sure he'll be great. Potion... Lechonk. I think we've caught all the new Pokemon in, all the Pokemon in this area, right? Can we, uh, can we jump off here? Ah, uh, nah, not yet. Tech advancement since the Meiji era, I guess. I'm pretty sure in Demon Slayer they had better technology than we do here in this game. Ooh, Super Potion already, wow. Jump Luffs and Pokedex entries a little sad? Oh no. One hour in and we still haven't ranked a single Pokemon. <laughs> Hey, revive! Wow, that was fast. So there's an item on this cliff. Can we actually get up there? Can we climb this? Uh, can we climb this? <laughs> I guess not. Headbutt the trees. How do we do that? I'm running into it. Nah. Does the grass cat stand up? I don't know. No spoilers, by the way. Hoppips. Doesn't look like anything else new around here. Did you get XP by catching Pokemon? I think so, yeah. You can catch Fletchling pretty soon? Hey, Fletchling's good. You can't climb yet. Okay, so it must be like, um... Well, this looks okay, like, graphics-wise. That's not true. Uh, the grass looks pretty terrible, but... Wait, oh, is this a new Pokemon? This is a new Pokemon. What is this thing? It's a... It's a Palmy. Interesting. Oh, it's faster than us. Oh, we burned it, yo. The wild Palmy was burned. Alright, so Palmy nicknames like Small Me? Alright, well, that was pretty easy. Any objections to Small Me? I actually think it looks decent. The graphics shouldn't be a draw for Pokemon games. I mean, it would be nice if they were nice. The Pokeball itself looks okay. But gotta smell it small me? Of course. Oh, it's electric. Interesting. Uh, it has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheeks. These sacs can produce electricity only if Palmy rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. Interesting. Palmy. So small me, right? Yeah. Oh. Gotta make sure I actually do this correctly. Small me. Not Pika. 
Early Pika clone. Hey, I mean, that'll be useful. We don't have any... Oh, we're only dual types so far as Hopip. Well, I'm assuming Hopip is not very good in this game either. The Pokedex UI is awful? I think it's kind of charming. The game looks decent, but the desert makes me want to vomit. I haven't been there yet. This grassland doesn't look great, but, I mean, it's... Actually, I'm not going to say it's acceptable, but it could be worse. The Book of Small Me. I think... Okay, somebody said we can catch Fletchling soon? Ah, Fletchling's an old Pokemon, though. We ready got to revive? I'm not sure what money is used for in this game. We'll see. I'm guessing for the drip. Ether. Oh, this is a new Pokemon, right? What is this? Oh, it's a young goose. We're probably not going to use this, but we'll at least catch it. Um, I mean, we have Coco Obama, right? So we've already got our political rifle. <laughs> we'll just name it Sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, sorry it had to come to this, Mr. Trump. <laughs> but I am not apologetic about defeating you on the battlefield. <laughs> Coco Obama learned round. Well, we're never going to use that, but it's probably better than tackle. Sad. Did Trump just announce today he's running in 2024? I think it was very recently. Might have been today, depending on where you are, I guess. Sad! <laughs> just a curiosity, Pika slang for, uh, weird in both Spanish and Portuguese. There were a lot of families who didn't like Pokemon Dude having a yellow rabbit who was always saying Pika Pika. That's hilarious. I think that... Can I tell you what Quaxi learns at level 7 is pretty nuts? Sure. That's fine. Thanks for asking, by the way. Oh, cutscene? It learns cork up? Oh, work up. Oh, that's definitely better than round. Hey, cheese. You in the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? Yeah, I've caught a few. Let me see. So far, you've caught. I think all of them in the area? Gugao? Mysterious cry. Whoa, what was that? Go. I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. It must be the legendary, right? I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, cheese. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help you keep safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. <laughs> it's a deal. Uh, let's check. Uh, hold on. Bag. I want to check this. Oh, Pokemon, I guess. So I go left to Pokemon. I like that. So Pokemon is not even in a separate menu. All you have to do is go left. Very nice. So, check summary. It takes a little while to load. Uh, oh, so we here we can remember moves, forget a move, use TMs to learn moves. Very interesting. Great uh, quality of life thing. Why'd the music stop? So, I want to check details, which is... How do I do that? It's not A. It's Y. Okay. 60 base power. And tackle is only 40, so we should just use round. And our special attack is higher than our attack, despite being a plus attack nature. Interesting. Let's see what Lechonk has. So Lechonk has uh, stats, I guess. <laughs> Nine attack, tackle, tail whip. This thing has tackle. Oh my god, this thing's horrible. Wow. Uh, chlorophyll. I mean, it's Hoppip. We know what Hoppip does. Oh, 12 speed. It has natural cure. Interesting. And... Strong jaw sad. Ooh, okay, cool. We got plus special attack. That'll that'll be big. Okay, I need to do these menus when there's actually music in the background, right? Lechonk learns disarming voice, which is pretty useful early game. Did did Game Freak not make checks for the dialogue? Can we get a quick analysis of Hop if you need to use the word horrible three times? Uh, I mean, you've heard it all before, right? Oh, hey. It's it's under attack by Houndour. Yo, Houndour's finally in this game? s rank Pokemon? Look at the textures on Houndour. Bow, bow wow. 
Oh, hey, this thing has animations. Wow, check out that cinematic of us falling off a cliff. What? Wait, what just happened? <laughs> what I'm guessing happened was the Rotom phone, like, floats and saves us? Was that what was supposed to happen? I have no idea. We just didn't die. Oh, he glided on the cell phone. That was... Okay. Oh, and now there's a shadow. Okay. I guess, yeah, I guess Rotom Phone has Levitate? Can we jump up? Okay. Oh, you use the Rotom Phone's case to glide? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, that's true. We I did see the stairs earlier. We are we are ghost type. Grr. Why does the ground have to look like vomit? Everything else looks okay, even the trees. Uh, the ground looks really bad. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Oh, we got some potions. We can give it something to help it perk up. Dude, no, we have we have the mom sandwich. The mom sandwich. Dude, story based sandwich. <laughs> I can't. Sh oh no, we're, we're actually holding it. Yo, 2022, we can hold sandwiches, Gia. Is he gonna actually eat it? Can we animate the eating? Can we do it? Can we do it? Nope, we can't do it. Oh, we, 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 we at least held the sandwich. Agias. I'm glad I made the small sandwich emote. We can definitely use it here. Almost. Better than Legends. They got part of it. <laughs> Sandwiches in the chat. He's just gonna leave us? Bro, can you help me get out of here? Ah, Gias. I'd be more energetic about these, but I don't want to yell too loud. Mom's sandwich really just got us the earliest legendary in history. Oh, look at this. Dude, is it time for Pokemon battles on motorcycles? Oh, good stats? Actually a cutscene? Actually a cutscene. Sure. Um, are you gonna help me? I guess not. <laughs> well, I mean, that was an okay cutscene. Can we... Well, we were told this cave is dangerous, right? Oh, he just uh, appeared instantly. Okay. Well, are there items on this beach? Doesn't look like it. I'm guessing we can't go into the water, right? Oh, we can! But we can't swim. No, there's an invisible wall here. Wow, we are really, really slow in the water. I guess that makes sense. So is he going to escort us through the cave? I wonder if they fixed the lighting in the cave. Because in Legends, there was a really, really weird, like, fuzzy outline around you in caves. Let's see if they fix that. Oh, okay, the, the light magically changes. Okay, that looks terrible, but okay. Uh, the outline looks like it's gone. And the texture, although it looks bad, uh, it looks better than Arceus. I hope there are new Pokemon to catch in here. Oh. Oi, cheese! Can't just let us enjoy our adventure. Leave me alone, please. There you are, Cheese. You okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. I'm managing. You know what? I'm managing. Promoted to a manager. Thank goodness. I was really worried. If you'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You've just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. Okay. A move-based exploration? I'd like to see your manager, Karen Enjoyer. 
Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. I agree. Yo, strength? Hey, Houndors. Oh, I want a Houndor. Come back. That Pokemon might be as strong as mine. Maybe stronger. Oh, a Houndoom. Okay, we don't want to fight that. Now, that's a young goose, right? We already have, we already have one of those. Ah, oh, it's Rock Smash, not Strength. You're right. Another young goose. If we can actually catch a Houndoor here, I think we can safely say that's a, that's an... Hey, it's a Diglett. Did Diglett just jump? Okay, well, um, Diglett, uh... Oh, Ember might actually kill this. Diglett dig, Diglett dig, trio, trio, trio. The rubble around it jumped. Uh, so, uh, Diglett nicknames, by the way? Probably not gonna use Diglett, but... We're gonna try to use new Pokemon only, I think. Small Diglett? We can try a little harder than that. Looks like we do get XP for catching. Just name it Trio Trio Trio. It lives about one yard under... Biglet. Duglet. Diggity do. Mole boy. Feetlet. Landwiglet. Name him Pika. <laughs> Chadlet. I guess... Knowing the meaning of Pika... It's, it's kind of reminiscent, right? The Underminer! <laughs> I, I think there'll be another ground type later. We can probably make the Underminer, right? We'll name it Pika. Ah, okay. Let's send it to the uh, box. You can keep six Pokemon party at once. Any of the Pokemon can be sent to your Pokemon boxes for safekeeping. Very important for the uh, Omori challenge. With the main menu, you can select your boxes to open them up. From there, you can choose Pokemon to swap in and out of your current team. Okay. Looks like they fixed the section a little bit. When I played this pre-launch, the segment had invisible walls everywhere. It was really funny. I mean, pre-launch, you can't really complain, right? I mean, you're not even supposed to be playing the game. Now, I think we can complain, because I paid money for this, and... <laughs> oh. They fixed the invisible walls, right? Mr. Mime, where are you? <laughs> I think I actually... <laughs> what was that? I do have it. <laughs> oh, it's on the wrong layer. What a great game. Well, even the, uh, even the joke clip didn't work. Here we go. <laughs> what a great game. What a great game, guys. <laughs> what? Oh, there's another one! Scarlet Glitches Part 1. <laughs> what? The invisible, dis the invisible walls disappear after you leave this area. It's really dumb that they're invisible walls in the first place. Why are they even here? I can't go left. Oh, boy. Oh, Houndor's out here. Bro, we can't fight this many. L listen to those barks. Oh, frightened. Well, yeah, there was a quest in Legends Arts that had invisible walls because it was about Mr. Mime. That was fine. Oh, another one. No. <laughs> Mr. Mom, you can't stop me. Oh. Okay, now I'm forced to walk. How do we trying to make... Is Mr. Mom in the game? I don't know. You can't even open the menu in there? I think we can. Let me try opening the menu. Oh, I can't open the menu. Oh my gosh, it straight up pulverized that rock. How powerful even is it? I'm guessing it has really good stats. Can I... Jeez, look out. Something's coming. What is it? Is it a hound? Is it a hound doom? We can't fight a hound doom. Behind you! It's behind you! What is it? It is a hound doom. Just 
casually walking up. It doesn't look that scary. Doom! Uh, I don't think we can win this. It's level 40. <clears throat> now let me be clear. As an American, I don't want to back down in the face of danger. But it's important to recognize when you're outmatched. Get me out of here. <laughs> There's no way you could run from this opponent. Okay. Well, it has flash fire. Uh, by the way, this is a... Um, try throwing a ball. So this is a... Uh, mash the A button. Yeah, this might actually uh, make the A button challenge impossible. Oh my god. Obama, have mercy. Oh. Okay. So this is clearable with A. This is clearable with A, because we can just press A. Um, is Koraidon gonna school this dude? So it's basically just a cutscene. Welcome to die! AoE, do we have AoE attacks? Use Earthquake. Kingdom Rush. Long live the king. It's the hyenas. Oh, we're making our escape in low FPS, apparently. Hey! Up here, quick. Why does the cutscene have bad FPS? What in the world? Is this a 1980s PC game? <laughs> what? <laughs> Way to go for a second. I thought you were both goners. I mean, we had a lower frame rate than the Hound the Houndoom. It was a miracle we escaped. This is tough to watch, uh, yeah. Oh. And now he's down. Oh, dude, we need, we need to give him another sandwich. We need sandwich emotes to perk him up. Maybe it used up all its power? Uh, what is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclozar, but I've never seen one quite like this before. Okay, so Cyclozar is a normal Pokemon. This is a legendary. And that looks so different from a moon ago. You think it's okay? Hard to say? I don't know. Alright, well... The illusion of choice, right? Hard to say. You can't tell either, huh, Cheese? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. Well, I guess he's at least strong enough to beat a level 40 Pokemon? <laughs> Game of the year. You know, uh, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow looked perfectly in sync facing down that Hound Doom. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? That's true, I, I don't have enough badges. I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Such a bold, artistic decision. Reducing the FBAs creates such a jarring contrast. <laughs> oh, good. It looked like it perked up a bit. Okay, it's fine. Alright. <laughs> Do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Gauss. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you, if you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Oh, well, probably should have done that earlier. <laughs> Is this the master cycle? We didn't even have to pay for the DLC. And here, this will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger Pokemon. Ooh, a TM! Uh, okay, not one I wanted. <laughs> Swift. Think before you use the TMs can only be used once. Oh no, they're back to single use? But we can make them, right? You've both been through enough for a minute. Oh, okay, is she alright? I think we better take a beat breather. Let's just go, let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Uh, how's our HP looking? Uh, we can go through the... We can go through the cave again, right? You'll love this game's TMs. Uh, the, the ellipsis gaming at the end of that makes me feel like I won't. I want to see what it looks like to jump off the cliff. Oh, we can't. Okay. It's a personal grudge, but I guess I dislike how Rotoms are just in every device now. Aren't they supposed to be a bit mischievous? I wouldn't want that thing near my my data. That's true. Better get Nord VPN. <laughs> Wait. Can I Can I not go up the cliff? Hello? 
Okay, I guess I can't go back up the cliff. Oh, okay. I think we, we caught every Pokemon in this area, right? We just have to go back and get a Houndoom later, or a Houndor? <laughs> Rotom VPN in Generation 10. Uh, we've seen that before. So, is she just gonna stand there, or is she gonna go to the lighthouse with us? Post TikToks on your Rotom phone. Oh, yay, that's not how you get to the lighthouse. Oh. Oh, what if it forces us to walk into the spider? Let's try Let's try that. Alright, walk me into the spider. Oh, no, it walks me that way. It's really weird that she's just yelling at us from back there. Hello? Who's this? Oh, okay, never mind, she teleports to us. Why, that little... Who's this dude? Beats? What are you doing out here? Ellipsis Gaming. I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the Humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? At least his clothes are high res. It doesn't matter who my mom is. Oh, so he's the he's the son of the the professor lady. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here, and what's this form it's in. I met at the bottom of this cliff. It saved me from a tight spot. I'll tell him I met at the bottom of the cliff. See, we heard this strange cry and we tried to investigate, but cheese fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kinda... Oye is actually pronounced OJ? Hey, it's OGA. Uh, wore itself out in the process. It got kinda slumpy afterwards. But you should've seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. We need more sandwiches. Well, yeah, as it should be. But it, it can't fight while it's like this. The form Koridon takes in battle. That's its true form. Okay, so he knows what it's called. Koridon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? He's a weeb. He knows Japanese. Agiagas, how old are these characters supposed to be? Arvin and Nimona look like teens while you're playing a dang preschooler? I think they... Well, Nimona is in my class, so I think we're the same age. I don't know how old this guy is. You can't go in the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Koridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command, it's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Koridon around? How about I test your worthiness? Oh, we gotta battle this guy. I, I'm guessing if we say no, he still battles us. We'll say yes. <laughs> well, look at you, quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these doldrums away. Custom animations? Trainer Arvin. Squavit. Nice normal type, bro. Doldrums? That's a that's a real word. It's like slump. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth. And I want it gone. Chain of memories? Alright, he only has one Pokemon. And we were healed before this. Okay. You change everything but your hair anytime as soon as you get access to a boat. Okay. Alright, well, I'm I'm not that scared of this dude's one level 5 Pokemon. I guess we haven't really had that many battles yet, so... Right on, you wanna help? I guess not. Oh, looks like Hoppip learned a new move? Okay, Tail Whip. Pokemon Trainer Arden. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. Ooh, 300 in prize money. Okay. A challenging battle. I mean, it's only the second battle of the game. I can't be that upset about that. Um, loading? Okay. Wow, cheese, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I only just caught. Any good early water types? Not yet. But if you really think you can take Koridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. Oh, okay, so is he like the owner? 
You obtain Coridon's Pokeball. Okay. You can change your outfit by pressing left on the D-pad. Okay. You put Coridon's Pokeball in your bag's key item pocket. Coridon's Pokeball. It literally just looks like a Pokeball. Pokeball that can hold the mysterious Pokemon known as Coridon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. So why do you have it? Yeah, good question. Ellipsis Gaming. <laughs> anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. Are you making a Gen 9 in-game tier list in a few days, weeks? After we finish the game, yeah. It's probably the first thing we're going to do. What? OJ? Uh, can you not? Oh. Auto text. Fine, be that way, but you better actually show up for school. What a weirdo. I'm guessing we can't actually fight with it yet. Okay. Can't have an actual Pokeball returning animation? That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna ring some answers out of him. Let's ringing. This dude was the protag, but when he saw the frame rate, he gave up, and now we're the protagonist. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, uh, but oh, right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. I'm happy for the rest of the night to have a fun stream, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. We'll probably finish it today. A lot of people already beat it, it seems. I'm going for um, another four and a half hours. Because uh, I do have to work after this. I guess we can... It's probably something behind the lighthouse, right? An item? Hey! Oh, it's a scatterbug. Uh, it's level four. This probably won't kill it. So I guess Scatterbug nicknames? String shot. Strong. Vivian? Oh, what's the name of that, uh... What's the name of the archer from Awakening? Is it Vivian? Gressman. Scatter machine, son! <laughs> Have you played any Pokemon fan games before? A, a, a couple. Disarming voice, okay. Virion. Okay, we'll name him v Vivirion. We'll, we'll do some arching. Dude, everybody knows his name. <laughs> We're probably not going to use this, by the way. I'm not going to say that there's a hard rule that we have to use only new Pokemon, but I'm going to try to, right? I mean, what's the point if we don't? This one is female? That's ah, fine. Is this supposed to be a triple-A game made in 2022? Well, well, it was made in 2022. So the encounter system is more like Arceus now? I think so. I mostly want to see new mons, if that's okay with all of you. I mean, it's okay with me, and I'm the one playing the game, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see if we can go back to that cave now, because we just got we just got uh, healed. But actually, let's, let's climb up the light house first. Is this a new Pokemon? It's just a Lechuk. Wait, so this isn't Pokemon Coliseum? <laughs> Not this time. Okay, the ladder doesn't freeze time, but that's because it's a cutscene, I guess. Who is this? Oh, it's her. Cheese has yet to... Oh, we still haven't gotten to school. He doesn't look half bad for a GameCube game. Look, Cheese, that's Mesa Goza. I'm guessing that's the area? Oh, it's the school. Okay. And that huge building with a Pokeball on it is our school. Yeah, we still haven't gotten to school. AAA has it made with the power of a single AAA battery? That's hilarious. I'm looking forward to it, but all that schoolwork. You know what? I'm looking forward to it. Right? I can't wait to get back. We're gonna get to learn so much and battle so, so, so much. Isn't it awesome that you can s what you can see from up here? I gotta head back to work, but please enjoy the Paldea region together with us. I will, on your behalf. Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff, as far as the eye can see. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's nature stuff. I don't know about beautiful. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Bro, the shadows in this game are so scuffed. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Hey, I already have my starter. Vamos, come on. <laughs> Let's get to it. It's like an ad for the game. Inside the game. 
Uh, I want to watch the stream, but I don't want to spoil it for tomorrow. Can you confirm if they brought back the Ocarina of Time trees at least before I go? I think we have GameCube trees. But there's definitely some technical issues so far. Alright, so let's see if we can go get a Houndour. Vamos, come on, is like saying, come on, come on. <laughs> I mean, you can say, come on, come on. If you're Tor the Explorer, right? Okay, we can't go back to the cave? Alright, looks like we can't, uh... So I guess I, I will ask for spoilers just for this. Are we able to access the cave now or no? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, well, here, here's the tree, by the way. Is this, uh, is this N64? It's a little bit better. You have to have Koraidon writable? Okay, so we can't get Houndor yet. Alright, so let's, I guess, go to school. And let's see what new other new Pokemon we can get. I, the tree has more three po <laughs> Open world, by the way. South Province Area 1. You really couldn't think of a better name than South Province Area 1? I don't know, the trees in Colosseum were better? That's true, they were. There's at least Agate Village. We're gonna fight that kid, by the way. Uh, but... Oh, hey, it's a Psyduck! Oh, Fletchling! Let's get a Fletchling. Beats? I like those uh, hop up just kind of chilling in the background. Alright, so Fletchling. Uh, Fletching nicknames, I guess. Coco just whispering in my ear to burn them all. What's that? What's that, pal? Oh! Burn down every last one of them? Tear it all down? I can do that. KFC. Rotisserie. Rotisserie. Smoke and small. Hot wings? I like hot wings. <laughs> I like hot wings. Free range. Is this a leaked copy of the game? I live in Japan. So I get it earlier than you guys. Hot Wings is great. I like that one. Hot Wings. Uh, Centibox is not a new Pokemon. A worldwide simultaneous release, by the way. <laughs> My uncle works for Nintendo. <laughs> Uh, Psyduck is another one, right? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a Zero. And we're gonna catch everything, so... Uh, I guess Azurl nicknames? <laughs> Hopefully we don't get destroyed by Azurl again. A water gun? No! It's super effective! Blue balls. Cool that Pokeball Tech has evolved and now incorporates anti-gravity. <laughs> Small ball. Oh, I like the little uh the little notch on the Pokeball glows. That's cool. Bolota. Bouncer. Az Azul. Tennis ball. I'd love to watch, but I gotta go. Well, thanks for stopping by. You've got the uh the VOD will always be there. Blue balls, small ball. But like when it evolves, it's no longer so small, right? Bugs. Azura. <laughs> Azrael. Uh I guess blue balls, right? It is blue, and it'll always be blue. Pika blue? Call it round. Just tennis ball. Fat Mikey, we'll call it blue. Bola? Why is this in caps? <laughs> Should every name just be a normal Spanish word? We'll call it Blue Bola. <laughs> huge balls. Hopefully this one actually has huge power, right? We're probably not going to use this either. 
The bowl! <laughs> what route do you plan on doing? I think we're probably just gonna follow the level curve, whatever that is. Okay. Not many new Pokemon so far. Uh, but we want to get that Psyduck, right? This one's probably just going to be Masuduck, I guess, because uh, it is Masuda's favorite Pokemon. Oh, look at that Psyduck fur, though. Oh, there's no sound to tell... Oh, I kind of missed that. You know how in Gen 5, when, a, when an ability activates, there's a little sound cue, like, pew! I missed that. If you want to follow the level curve, that'll require slight spoilers in terms of directions. That's fine. Um, please spoil me when it's uh, when it's time. El Pato. This one we're just naming Masuduck. Ah, uh, there is there is a, I guess quite a nice variety of Pokemon available already. Psyduck down. It is constantly racked by a headache. When the headache turns intense, it begins using mysterious powers. Uh, you can see that um, Psyduck's hand is covering the text of its own entry? Okay. <laughs> what? I mean, that's not a big deal, but you'd think that they'd make sure that doesn't happen, right? <laughs> Early Psyduck? What is this, Pokey Emblem? Masuduck. How are there people already who've played this if it just came out in Japan? Uh, because they're actually playing leaks. That's what. That's how. This is this is not illegal. This is a real. This is an official release. And I I did pay for the game. But yeah, the game got leaked early. This is this is actually the official release. Dude is actually in Japan. Yeah, it's not like a bit, guys. <laughs> I, I live in Japan. <laughs> I slept during the day to get ready for this. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. Alright, first battle uh, with a normal trainer is Hopip. Okay, Hopip can't actually run into us. Dude, this is like a preschooler. I feel so bad. Youngster Alien. Tarantula. Pick the wrong Pokemon to send out, bro. We got the beats, though. I mean, this thing's just gonna get annihilated, right? Uh, Tarantula, what I'd like to say is that uh, you should have voted uh, for me. And now you have to face the, the consequences. Goodbye. <laughs> it defeated. Okay, we got him. Uh, what general area of Japan are you in, Mr. Cheese? Uh, I'm in um, Tokyo. Uh, Place Rex, Food Rex, Onyx Rex. I mean, I, I can't really make any recommendations without knowing where you're actually going to go. Your Pokemon are so strong, huh? Thanks for the money, kid. Dude, this guy is actually like two feet tall. You shouldn't be out on your own. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> uh, you should have gotten health care while you had the chance. I made it easier for you. But you didn't. Hey, it's a Floatzel. Or Weasel. So I guess Weasel nicknames. Lots of old Pokemon so far. Weasel is, of course, faster than us. Ooh. Uh. We can do another round, right? Attack, but we're not gonna die. Miles. Tuber? Oh, crit! First crit of the game! Tuber? We could name him Tuber. Oh, Tails? Big Weasel? Oh. <laughs> because of the Legends Arceus quest? Yeah. I think we'll name him that. No, what's the, um... How big does the... F how big does the Weasel have to be for <laughs> that quest? <laughs> Can somebody look it up? Like, what's the height it has to be? Vin Buizel. We, we named another one Vin Buizel, though. 
two two eight. We're gonna name it that. <laughs> Is it two eight or two five? Two eight. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It's 2-8, okay? <laughs> we got one first try. Probably not going to use it as well, because it's not a new Pokemon. And just a clarification on the rules. If we, if we don't end up using a Pokemon on a team, it's still, like, eligible for the next gym. It's been a while since we've seen a new Pokemon. Wait, never mind, I'm 10 minutes late. Uh, you're like an hour and 40 minutes late. <laughs> Vin Buizel is great, uh, but we already used it. Is this a Smoliv? It's a Ralts! Hey, people like Ralts. Uh, I guess it depends on if it's male or female, right? This one is... This one's got Trace. Was there something under the bridge? We can check. Alright, what are we, we going to name Ralts? Burned. Name it Internet? No, no. Oh, confusion. Oh no. People like rolls. It's a it's a boy, so the gallant. Yeah. So um, this one is destined to become a a Gallade, So a Gallade nickname, I guess. It's a trap. Forklift. Ralza like salsa. I like that one. I like that one a lot, because this is a, uh, and I think he can, like, sword stance, right? So, we'll name this one Ralza. Or maybe we'll, we'll do that for Gardevoir, right? We'll do that for Gardevoir. What do we name this one? Because this is going to be, uh, Gallade. Galavant, Gala, Galahad, uh, Gylatine. Forklift? Why Forklift? Oberon? Ravanta, Gala Dance, Gala Chad, lots of Gala Chads, Guilemon, just Guile, Don Quixote, Ralzo, Don Quixote. I guess, oh yeah, because Don Quixote is the knight, right? Yeah, it has to be Don Quixote. Very, very uh, appropriate for the region. If you don't know who Don Quixote is, he's the main character of uh, Man of La Mancha, which is like an old Spanish play. Don Quixote, okay. Los Espadas, does that mean the swords? <laughs> I'm just guessing. But it's not a new Pokemon, so we're not intending to use it right now. Uh, if we run into a female Ralts, we'll catch that one as well. And that'll be, um, Ralza. Is this game set in Spain? I think it's the Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain and Portugal. Oh, is the world okay? Okay. <laughs> it's a Fletching, we already have that. Uh, somebody wanted to check under the bridge, right? Hey! Oh, it's Peltane Looper! We can catch this guy, for sure. This guy's poison, right? Trying to turn off Expeature is a quixotic attempt. That's a good word. I mean, this guy's on the team, for sure, right? The question is... Do we want to put him... Do we want to put him on this team, or do we want to put him in Johto's Revengeance? Because we're doing a Johto's... I think every Johto Pokemon is going to go into a pool for Johto's Revengeance. Because I think our last gym is going to be Johto's Revengeance. Is everybody okay with that? Fairy Wind? Uh, sure, I guess. Shouldn't be in Chodo, not a Chodo Mon. We don't need Splash. Save it for the League. Should the entire League just be Jodo's Revengeance? <laughs> we can do that. Uh, what nickname do we give it, by the way? Mikey. Why Mikey? Okay, the, the League might be Jota's Revengeance. <laughs> Gen 2. Pooper. We can do better than Pooper. Come on. Guys, how old are you? 
Woopier here. <laughs> okay, I like Woopier here. Woopier here. Hopefully, it's better than Ripier here. I like Woopier here. Hehe, <laughs> Twilight Duper funny. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think. Who's gonna be named Raiden? Well, I mean, it's gotta be an electric type, right? We'll see. So, uh, let's try and manage our box. Oh, Koraida, can we. Oh, we can't ride him or anything. Uh, so, let's manage our boxes a little bit. Just because uh, we're gonna move this into Jodo's Revengeance. Can we change the background on this? Come on. This looks terrible. Change box view. Okay, that's not what I meant. Uh, <laughs> I guess we can't change the background yet. Joe Ryden? Oh my god. Fue Coco and Joe Ryden? Oh my god. We have to do it. So, I'll, um... I, I guess I'll make a poll here. So, I'm gonna ask what we want the league to be. So, the league can either be this. Uh, how do I set up a poll here? What we did in the first Omori's Challenge was we picked an all-star from each team, and then those all-stars went to the league. But what we can do instead is we can just we can either do that or we can do Jodo's Revengeance. Once I figure out how to do a poll. <laughs> Here we go. So, um, what should the league team be? It'll be um here's the options. It's either um Omori All Stars. Uh, so I'd say that'll be playthrough Pokemon. Or it'll be um, Johto's Revengeance. Okay. And you can, you can vote on this. We'll see how the game shapes up as we play through it. But uh, you guys can vote on that for now, at least. Let's try and catch more Pokemon. We're definitely doing some form of Johto's Revengeance. Oh, I didn't mean to fight this. We can just run away, right? Coco Bomb is getting kind of hurt. Maybe we should heal it? But then again, the Pokemon Center is right there, right? What is this? Oh, new Pokemon? Why is it like 2D? Oh, it's a coin. Material accidentally dropped by Pokemon. It seems that gimme go interesting. Hop up. I'm trying to see if there's anything I missed. I don't think so, right? Can we go this way? Oh, we can go this way. Interesting. New item. Jodo's Revengeance can be for a gym or something. We're definitely going to use a a Jodo's Revengeance team in some form. It's either going to be one gym, or it's going to be the League. Each generation can have a gym? I'm not sure about that one. Oh man, not, not many Pokemon here. Oh, a Wiglet! Hey, that was quick. Let's get a Wiglet. Oh, uh, hello? Let's get a Wiglet? Can I... Do I have to throw a Pokeball at them? Oh, is that Magikarp? Hey, it's Magikarp. It's hopping. Let's get a Magikarp. I, I think we can take this guy. Magikarp is actually faster than us. <laughs> uh, Magikarp nicknames, I guess? Oh, you have to snipe with them on? Okay. Hey, Magikarp was caught. And we need to crouch? Okay. Magikarp. The Carp? Name it Pitfall? Okay, we'll name it Pitfall. Uh, we're naming it Pitfall because in uh, Poke Emblem. It's definitely a pitfall. 
hey, my neighbor is singing again, so I don't feel so bad about uh, talking at night. <laughs> Pitfall. Okay, well, the fact that we can get a Magikarp this early in the game means that this thing is definitely S-tier in the actual tier list, so that's easy. See Pitfall summaries. Let's get a Wiglet. I think regional forms are allowed. Hey, it's a Wingle. Let's get a Wingle. Okay. Different music? What do we name this Wingle? Uh, we can't just name it Pico. Big damage? Oh, big damage. How many new Johto Evos are there? I think there are, I don't know for sure, but I think there are enough to make a team. It's Fiona or Meg Pico. We can name it Pico. I don't usually catch the streams, I just want to love the content. Thanks for joining. We'll name it Pico. Right, we, we can name it Pico. We can name it Pico de Gallo, I guess, because we are in Spain. Oh, do we have enough spaces? We do. Pico de Gallo. How do you, how do you spell Gallo? <laughs> how do I like the new Fire Emblem so far? I have no idea. You mean Engage? I, I really don't know. Is this how you spell it? I think so. Oh, double L. Pico de Gallo. Recycled joke from... So, imported cheese quiz. What joke did I use Pico de Gallo in? Or which which video did I use the Pico de Gallo joke in? See if anybody knows. I mean, I know, because I made the video. It's an edited video. Uh, we should definitely heal this guy. I guess we can use uh, auto heal, right? I should have done that. Alright, so we have to... Okay, I'm going to crouch and throw it at... Wiglet? That didn't work. Oh, he's tubing! I, I want to catch a Wiglet. How do I do this? Get him. Do I have to, like, back up? Okay, so I'm going to leave and then come back. Wiglet? I want a Wiglet. Okay, here we go. I'm sneaking. Dude, I can't aim the Pokeball. What? I got him, I got him, right? Okay. I'm gonna end the uh, poll soon, by the way. Oh, this thing's only level three. It might actually die. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. Oh, so like, are the... Uh, hello? What? Is this supposed to be like the light refracting the... That looks so bad. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> Sad. All right, what do we what do we name this Wiglet? Birth the Bashful Trapper. The Wiggles. Diglet but wet longlet. That was impressively bad. Like, wig wig. Oh, Wig... Wigwug. Wig... Mr. Wiggles. Wetlid Wiggaloo. It's gotta be Wig something, right? Wiggly... How about Wiggly Tough? <laughs> Noodles. Little Cup Trapper. Wig... Wigwam. Wig... Noose. No, we're not even in that. Dig Dug. How about Wig Dig? Dig Wig. Wig Dig. It's gotta be Wig Dig, right? Wig Dig. 
Is it just a water type? I actually have no idea. It's just a water type. Garden Eel Pokemon. Name him Roy? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Did we set him to Wumbo? So a huge amount of Pokemon we can already catch so far. I don't think there's any more we can get in the water, right? We're super slow. You managed to scramble back out of the water? Oh. I, I guess that's one way to prevent us from going in the water. Ah. Uh. Alright, I guess I'll leave the beats up as I check on the poll. So I'm going to end the poll right now. And it is pure water, right? Uh, wow, Jota's Revenge is barely winning. Okay, I think that's close enough that we're going to make the decision about Jota's Revenge um, closer to the end of the game. But I think everybody is okay with having all of the Johto Pokemon separate uh, for some sort of Johto's Revenge special. I think that is something everybody's okay with. What I'm personally leaning towards is Johto's Revenge will be the last gym, and then whoever goes to the league from that will be crowned Johto's Finest's Finest, is what I'm thinking. I, I think most people will be okay with that. Can I go up here? I can. So far, no new Pokemon that I'm really, like, super excited. How's the performance? Abysmal. <laughs> Abysmal. Is this a new Pokemon? Oh no, it's the, uh, it's that electric mouse thing. That's just the spider. That's a scatterbug. X accuracy. Probably never gonna use that. A whole swarm of hoppips. Is that a Snorlax? No, it's just a rock. <laughs> okay. Is it the Dawn Brigade? Oh, this is glowing green? Or yeah, what is this? This has got to be something important, right? It's TM? It's Protect. Yay. <laughs> That's... I'm not that excited about that one. Could also do a Johto for E4 League Tournament and then All-Stars for Champion Postgame? Yeah, maybe. If we don't get an E4, I'm screaming. Oh, like, if there is... Oh, Struggle Bug. Hey, that could be useful. If we had a Pokemon that could actually use it. I'm guessing the Spider can use it. Ugh, stuff in the background looks really bad. <laughs> I know that happens in other open world games, but I'm not, uh, not hopeful for this one. The Poppin'? I can't see anything. Stuff is so small. This is... Oh, hey, it's a Drowsy. I oh, we can catch a Drowsy. Oh, interesting, like, walking animation for Drowsy. Like, the crossfading of the music doesn't seem right to me. Oh. Oh, well. Any nicknames for Drowsy? Wow, that was a crit. This guy's got special defense. Asleep? Oh, never mind. They missed Ghastly. Well, there's an S. There's an S. Uh, S rank Pokemon right there. Drowsy's new idle animation. Early Drowsy. Mr. Trunks. A A R D V A R K. A drowsy fur. Dojin guy. We're not Trunks, so we could name him Trunks. Oh, but when he evolves, he doesn't have a trunk, right? I messed up. Ah, I guess he doesn't. Resident Sleeper, I would have done that. Uh, if you press B one too many times, it cancels the nickname. Instead of just giving you an error. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, is this new Pokemon? Who's this? I thought it was just a regular flamingo. Is this a Pokemon? Flamigo. I guess he's our friend. A double kick? Kicked? So what do we name this thing? 
uh, some sort of dance thing, right? Copycat. <laughs> Double kick back back. Oh, we crit him. Look at that fainting animation. Flamenco seems like the only correct choice. Oh, charge. Uh, charge sucks. Remembering moves. The Pokemon skip learning one of their moves. Oh, yeah, cool. So it's like the Legends Arceus uh, mechanic. I mean, we can get another one. I'm assuming. Fenamigo. I see another one right there. I hit him. Okay. Dude, like, what's the lag? We're getting kicked again. Okay, we gotta auto heal this guy. Flamigo is actually a cool name. I do like that name. Oh, we burned him. But burn was nerfed, so he won't die. Alright, so what do we name this? Oh, we're almost out of Pokeballs. Flamigo is actually cool. Kevin? Just name it Kevin? Oh, because of that, um... An up, right? We can name it up. We can name it Kevin. Oh, it's Flying Fighting! Yo! Okay, I gotta make sure not to cancel the nickname. Yeah, we'll name it Kevin. I actually only have it on caps. We can put this guy on the team. I like him. This thing has a BST of 500. Really? Alright, we're gonna swap this out with... We're gonna try to use only new Pokemon, so... Goodbye, Halpip, I guess. Jeez, how is life? It's alright. Oh, it can fly as well. Okay. Is that... That's just a trainer. What is he doing out here? It doesn't evolve? It's a single stage? Really? So it's just a single stage with 500 BST? That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> what? It honestly looks like a regular bird. Yeah, I thought it was a... Confuser. Oh, awful. Oh, and this is a treasure? Hey, give me gold coin. On top of that, wall is another gimme gold. These things are everywhere. Ooh. Well, I want to get a ghastly for sure. We, we saw them earlier, right? Where are they? There was one near the drowsy? Where did it go? I'm not going crazy, right? Like, there was a... There was a ghastly? Where did they go? They were by the ruins, but we just went to the ruins and there was nothing there. I guess... Spooky ghosts? It got too bright out, but it wasn't... It wasn't even... Maybe they only spawn at night, but it wasn't night earlier, right? Oh. Do ghosts disappear when you approach? That might be it? Small Pokemon are hard to see. Yeah, at least they're scaled. Oh, it may have been the morning. Okay. Can I... I guess I need to climb to get this, and I can't yet. Well, the Poppin is a little better than Sword and Shield. Oh, I can't... I can't actually jump down the cliff. Oh, no, I can slide down there. Oh, Psybeam, that could be good. I don't think we've sent out a Pokemon that's not for Coco yet. 
So auto heal is minus. Healed. And Fue Coco here. Kevin, let's I guess check his stats. Terra type is flying. Peck, copycat, double kick. 14 attack at level 5. Wow. Minus speed nature though. Uh oh. Wow, it looks so it looks really fast and strong. That seems good. Horrible nature though. <laughs> hey, it's happening. What's happening? Yeah, minus attack nature. Pretty horrible. At least we get plus speed. Uh, is Tap gonna kill this thing? Quick, Okay. Ah, be cat. I think we'll be okay here. Yeah. Oh, it was a crit, though. We're almost out of Pokeballs, right? Yeah. So we're gonna have to head to the Pokemon Center soon. Lucky Egg? Um, not sure if they can hold them so far. So I guess some um, nicknames for this thing. What's up? We're playing some Pokemon. We're already level 12. Oh yeah, I'll take Bite. We don't need Tackle. <laughs> Not happening. Yeah, let's, we can name it that. Shellbringer. Not a fairy. Okay, gotta be careful not to cancel the nickname. Have I played Ocarina of Time? I have. Uh, so it's very nostalgic for me to see these tree graphics again. Not happening. Not happening. <laughs> Are we in every room for the apostrophe? I play the new God of War. I have not. So we've caught a ton of Pokemon so far. We're, we definitely have options. Flamigo seems. Hello? Okay. Uh, we're auto saving, right? Let's manually save just in case. That was kind of scary. I thought the game crashed. Another TM? Acid spray. Ugh, bad. Wingle. Thoughts on Aslala? I mean, Alola? I didn't think it was that bad. I really liked it until the, the game wasn't finished. <laughs> it's like the first two... Th hey, Rick Andy. The first two-thirds were really good, and then they clearly didn't finish the rest of the game. <laughs> Do I have a PS5? I don't. I don't even think they exist. I've never seen one. Let's start heading back to the Pokemon Center, because we definitely need more Pokeballs. Oh, a Slola. I don't really understand why all the Pokemon there were so slow, but... I guess if they're all slow, then no one is. Doesn't look like they're... I think we've got most of the new Pokemon we can get here so far, right? XP candies. Ugh. We can't go in the water, right? Are we just going to drown if we go in here? Yeah. We just black out. The game doesn't have an XP share you can turn off? Nope. That's the uh, entire theme of this challenge. The game really opens up after you go to school. Okay, so I guess we should go to school. I just, I wanna... Hey, Grey Ball. Uh, I wanna, I wanna Ghastly. Okay, we, we can't get any of those items because they're in the water. What is that thing? It's a... That's nah, a whooper. We already have one. We have to wait until evening, so 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. You can just come back. Is there no option to wait time? Like in Xenoblade, you can wait for a certain time from a menu. But I'm guessing you can't do that here. Or if you can, we can't do it yet. You can just sit and wait? Okay. Maybe it's in options? 
Background music, we can turn it off. Helping functions. Looks like Temple. I think it was a... It was a, um... Whooper. May I answer this question? Uh, which question? Oh, literally just stop walking and wait? Oh. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Okay, I think we've gotten all the Pokemon we can at this point. At least the ones that I've seen, aside from that, uh, that Wiglet. Or not Wiglet, uh, Ghastly. We'll just have to come back and get Ghastly later. Oh, TM on that island, but we can't get that. If I remember correctly, you only pass time like legends in your dorm room. Really? That's really inconvenient. Rooper, okay. I don't see anything new here. You've been walking around for a while and the time of day hasn't changed. That's weird. Yeah. Okay, we have to go to school. You have to go to school to change the time? That's ridiculous. <laughs> that, that That's not how it works, right? There's no way. Well, you can at least warp to school, right? Oh, I'm, like, stuck? I can't go up here, right? Huh. <laughs> Well, that's annoying. It's just like real life. The realism. If I remember correctly, you can time skip from school. Okay, so anytime I want to time skip, I have to go back to school, set the time, and then walk back to where I actually wanted to be? Am I correct? Is that how it works? There's no just menu option where you can set the time like you can in Xenoblade? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's horrible. Why? It gets faster when you get your ride Pokemon? Sure. Maybe it's in the picnic feature. Oh yeah, maybe it would make sense if that was in the picnic feature. Picking up all this stuff. Lots of Pokeballs. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm trying to go to the Pokemon Center, right? Oh. Okay, they just won't let you jump off. I guess we need, like, uh... Okay, so I'm st I wanted to see if there was a an animation where... Don't you have a map? Oh, yeah, we do have a map. There was an animation where Rotom hovers and... Oh. I guess we can kill this thing, right? We'll just ember it. Goodbye. The map is on Y, no? Is it? What happened to the music? Oh, okay. It comes back really slowly. <laughs> Can I... Get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Okay, I guess we have to go around. Lots of hop-ups. Antidote. But Rotom saved... Yeah, so Rotom saved us in the cutscene. If Genshin Impact is a cheap knockoff of Breath of the Wild, it looks like a cheap knockoff of Genshin and the movement in the environment. Hey, Genshin Impact looks great. I'll say that much. Not a fan of, you know, pay to win, but... It does look good. Oh, we get a lot of frame drops. I guess Foy Cook was gonna evolve soon, right? Oh, lots of TMs here. Endure, awful. <laughs> awful, the only TM that we actually 
have even considered using so far is Psybeam. Go back up? Go back up what? Would you like to go back to where you fell? I didn't fall. What? Huh? What? I mean, I could see that being useful somewhere, but we didn't fall. Am I... What? We can, we can play for that. <laughs> what a great game. What? Really confused? What a great game, guys. <laughs> I think, uh, okay, well, if we find another Ralts, we can find that. Or we can catch it, but, uh, we already have one. Oh my god, here he is! Here we- I'm ready. I, I prepared something just for this, hang on. Gotta make sure it's actually visible. Alright, you ready for this? Here we go. Make no mistake, Fido, you little fuck. Let's get him. <laughs> Fido! We're using Fido for sure. You little pup. <laughs> what do we name this guy? Armstrong! Oh, so here's a fun thing. In the Japanese version, instead of shouting Armstrong, he shouts Steven. <laughs> Steven! <laughs> Doge? We have to do that. Doge, for sure. Blade Wolf. His first name is Steven? Yeah. Steven Armstrong. Doge. Uh, I guess... I guess like this? How do we say this? Do... And then hyphen G E, I guess. Doge. <laughs> yes, we're we're definitely putting this in the party. Doge, you little. <laughs> we can try fighting with this guy after we level up a little bit. What is this? That's the... Oh, it's an Igly buff. Ugh, gross. We'll catch this anyway, though. What do we name this thing? Okay. <laughs> well, maybe next time. <laughs> Guildmaster. I'm sure we'll find another one soon enough. A lot of fletchlings. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, OJ. Cheese over here. This here's a Pokemon Center. You can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon, but I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Happy to be of service and welcome to the Pokemon Center. You're not Nurse Joy. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemon Mart counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Why doesn't he talk to us himself? Oh, he does. Hello, we accept payment both in cash and in LP. League points, that is. One LP is worth one yen. Oh, sorry, I got a line message. And this is, uh, and this to my right is the Techno Machine. TM for short. It's your ticket to making TMs. You can use to teach moves to your Pokemon. Ooh, let's do that. <laughs> Nurse Jose. You'll need to pay an LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokemon drop. How do we get LP? LP comes in handy, both of these machines and at stores. I've got a lot. Here, have some. Oh. He just gives it to us. Wire transfer? 
And we already had some. Oh yeah, and some of these too. You received lots of Pokemon materials from Nimona. And at the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Okay, so only there. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will, thanks. Remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> she just vimoed us. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at schools, but mnemonics help out. The memes? Me? You know who you know who knows memes. Make no mistake, Fido. You little fuck. <laughs> Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. Okay, that way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around or go battle on its own or stuff like that. We should do that. I just opened the stream. Did it really take two hours to get to the first Pokemon Center? Uh, there was a lot of stuff before this. Pressing the R button is a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokemon, all right, buddy, let's go. Once you give the go-ahead, your Pokemon will set out on its own to battle and battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items it finds in the area. When your Pokemon is low on energy, which happens when its HP is low, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal it with a potion or some other item. Okay. When your Pokemon starts a battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles, meaning that you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching over it from nearby. Let's do that! Auto battles will be decided by the strength and the types of the Pokemon taking part in the battle, so keep that in mind when you're saying out which of your Pokemon to send its own. Okay. We can do that. What? Dude, look at the FPS in the background. <laughs> what? Dude, look at those... those. Dude, that guy in the background is like... 10 FPS? <laughs> okay, well, let's see if we can buy anything. Uh, nothing we really need, right? Do come again. Alright, heal, heal me, Nurse Joy. Just looking sporty. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Are your Pokemon tired and need a rest? I'd like to heal my Pokemon, I don't know where to go. Can I register my birthday? Okay. Now, be, do be careful you enter it wide. You can't change your birthday after it's registered? Oh, okay, I'm doxing my birthday, I guess. It's March 18th. So I've got a birthday of 318 for one Master Cheese, is that right? Why does everybody call me Master? Is that like a Spanish thing? Thank you for risking your birthday with the Pokemon Center. You should stop by on your big day, too. We'll be expecting you on 318. Uh, maybe I should have given an earlier day, right? <laughs> Bold of Scarlet and Violet to use stop motion for the background. Alright, let's see if we can make anything useful here. I want a TM made. I want to exchange materials for LP. Never mind. Okay. Making TMs. To make TMs, you'll need to gather up materials from Pokemon and earn lead points or LP. The range of TMs you can make will expand as you pick up new TMs or receive items from others during your adventure. Okay. Oh, and it shows you which your Pokemon can learn it. Interesting, interesting. So, let's see. Charm. Um, no. Let's see if there's any new moves. Mudslap. No. Ice Fang. That could be useful. Thunder Fang. Low Kick. Acid Spray. We already have one of those. Struggle Bug. Disarming voice. 40 base power. <laughs> Letting out a charming cry, the user does emotional damage to opposing Pokemon. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a DD skill, right? Vicious mockery. Confused Ray Psybeam. Metal Claw. Swift Air Cutter. Rest. Yeah, nothing too exciting, but I mean, what do we expect? We just started, right? Never mind. Psybeam is definitely the best option there. Emotional damage. Alright, um, I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna play an ad. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. You guys didn't miss anything, I don't think. Uh-oh. The best adult dating site? Uh-oh. I'm glad I'm here in time for this news. What is this one? Uh, unwanted commercial content or spam. Gotta destroy these steel types. They picked a good time. Okay, I think I, I, sh I should have defeated them. Okay, defeated. Don't worry. Fire's good against steel. And uh, I got a message. Got a message from my friend. Okay. Uh, you can maybe hear my uh, neighbor howling downstairs, so I really don't feel that bad about uh, speaking at a normal volume at this hour. Alright, so we healed everyone. Let's try that auto battle thing. Welcome. This is Los Platos. We're always happy to serve up a helping of hospitality to anyone passing by. This is a town? Where are the buildings? Like a Lechonk. Hey, hey, guy, are you okay? You you, you, you're a little choppy, hello? Do you know a Palper? Have you heard that Palper can carry people's letters and packages in its large bill? Hey, Animal Crossing? Fletchling, how cute! Definitely some technical issues so far. My paralyzed heels! Are they delivered? My paralyzed heels are delivered. Oh, lovely. Just what you need to help a paralyzed Pokemon. Doesn't the guy, like, right there sell paralyzed heels? How lazy are you, lady? Oh, the new Tauros form. The Pokemon at the head of your party will always be the first one set out in the battle. Thanks. Can we go in here? We can't. Okay, so it's just a decoration, I guess. Alright, let's... Can I, can I clean your house? Let's see if we can uh, clip in. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Nah, doesn't look like me to do it. <laughs> we can't go in any of these houses. So what's the point? <laughs> what a great town. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> My girl is so good at math, you know. Oh, for mine, it's battle studies. Come on, guys. What a town. There's literally nothing here. What are, you, what are you up to, man? Nothing like relaxing on the grass. My man doesn't know its ass. Literally 1984. <laughs> oh, hey, maybe this sign will also give us uh, superpowers. The last one gave us the ability to run. Maybe this one gave us the ability to enter houses. No, no superpowers this time. Uh, let me see if my uh, friend can actually stop by the stream while she's here. Wait, do you see the Golduck? Is there a Golduck form? Um, oh, by the way, um, no spoilers on new Pokemon, please. I really haven't seen any. I, like, I'm not mad at you for if there's, like, a Golduck form. I'm not actually, like, upset, but... <laughs> uh, if you can help it, please don't tell me about uh, upcoming Pokemon I haven't seen yet. Oh, hello? Okay, game's okay. There's no Golduck form? Okay. Game looks like ass, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you're, you're definitely speaking the truth. <laughs> A lot of remixes of this one theme. Battles may be fun though. Oh, there's just three items here. Cool. Full heal. Metal Claw? Okay. Oh, we can maybe teach that to... Uh, Poi Coco? Alright, so I want my Pokemon to follow me. Oh no, it just goes out and then it'll battle something. Is it gonna follow me now? 
Ah, okay, yeah, he does follow me. Interesting. We can have him battle something. Uh, fight this bug. Okay, and we get way less XP, which makes sense. Oh, I didn't need to fight this guy. <laughs> it's really hard to avoid these tiny Pokemon. Wait, didn't we heal at the Pokemon Center? Did I forget to? Oh no, I guess he used PP in the battle? What is this thing? This is a Lechonk. <laughs> Successor to Fire Red Leaf Greed Metal Claw Charmander. Did you see the super effective swindle? So, so far we've mainly just heard remixes of this one overworld theme. That's not, that's not really a complaint yet. I'm assuming there's more songs in the game. Oh hey, this is an item, right? TM? Rest. Ugh. Is this Surskit? Can we catch Surskit? I guess I can, like, throw the Pokeball at them, right? Great video. I've never been able to lock onto anything. Can I can I catch the Surskit, please? Get the get the Surskit. I'm like right next to it. <laughs> okay, if I go to the other side, maybe it'll work. Too bad they didn't keep the aiming system. Yeah. Okay, I literally passed right through him. Okay, so we can't. Three house with flashbacks with all the music having the same uh, motifs. Frame rates? Los Platos. Okay, so this town had literally nothing in it, right? I'm not missing anything? I guess um, I will ask for spoilers there. Did I miss anything in that town, or was there literally just nothing there? The Super Hector Swindle is a great video? Thank you. I agree. I'm really proud of that video. I think it's really good. Alright, get him. Stored power. Well, that's not going to be that useful for us. <laughs> At least we're not hearing that flute sound from Arceus. I, I was fine with the flute. The flute sound. Like, I don't have any problems with there being, like, musical motifs. I think that's really good. Um, one of my favorite games ever, FF14, uh, has, I think, uses motifs really well. Because in the overworld areas, there's, like, a, a, a song for each zone. And then when you go into the dungeon for each zone, it's like a remixed version of the overworld theme. Oh, it's a Sunkern! Well, uh, I guess this guy goes into Jota's. Well, is this guy eligible for Jota's Finest? Is there a Sunkern Evo? I mean, um, I will ask that. So is there a Sunflora Evo? Sun Flourish. Ah, there isn't one? Yes, it's called Sun Flora. Alright, if there's no Sun Flourish, then that's unfortunate. We're not using Sun Flora, guys. I forgot to buy Pokeballs. I'm gonna go buy Pokeballs. This game looks like the bare minimum so far. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, I guess Sun, Sun Flora nickname? Sun Flourish, I guess. And we can just pretend. <laughs> we can just pretend. Oh, we'll just use our imagination. We'll get Sun Flourish someday, guys. <laughs> uh, I gotta go buy more Pokeballs. Is the game fun, Cheese? It's alright. I'd say that... Did that lady just teleport? Uh, I'd say that so far, um, I was more impressed with the opening of Arceus, well, not, I wasn't impressed with the opening of Arceus, but I had more fun with Arceus, uh, in the opening hours, but this isn't, like, a disaster or anything. Oh, that's not true. It's kind of disastrous. <laughs> it is definitely, it's definitely technically disastrous. Man, are you okay? 
Did you get the physical game? Uh, this is the digital. This is digital. Uh, but because I live in Japan, it unlocked uh, first for me. Let's get... Uh, we're going to use a lot of these, right? Let's get 20. Oh, and we got, oh, we got the premiere balls. <laughs> Day 2 patch will save us. It's Sword and Shield, but it's not good. That implies that Sword and Shield was good. Oh, there's like a healing animation with uh, 10 FPS fingers. Nurse Joy, are you okay? Foy Coco and the rest of your team should be all better now. Oh, by the way, did you know? We don't know where to go next. You can ask for help with the Pokemon Center. The staff here can give you tips about where you might, uh, where you might want to try. Plus, they'll register their suggested destinations on your Rotom phone for you. Interesting. Or did you already know that? Well, I do hope my little tidbits come in handy. I actually didn't know that. Uh, you have any insight here? Now time to go. Once we leave Los Platos, we'll hit the best-known spot in the southern pro South Province's Area 1. The massive hill on the way to school. It's actually just called Area 1? Come on, you could give it a name, right? Like, I don't know, Fue Coco Fields or something. Alright, well, we can't change the time yet, so we can't actually go get a Ghastly. Less cutscene similar than Gen 7 so far. I will say that the tutorials have not felt overbearing. That is definitely true so far. And I think you guys can agree, right? The tutorials aren't that bad. Have we met the GigTap Professor yet? Not yet. I mean, routes for the first several games were literally numbered. That's true. That's true. First district, eh? You can't skip time yet. You can advance time. Magikarp, Azuril, Wooper. We got all these guys already. We haven't fought with anyone except Fue Coco. What is this? Is this a Squavit? I guess we'll catch this thing. Yeah, it's a squad that... Uh... Any, uh... Any nicknames for this guy? Great camera angle, by the way. Can we change this? Okay. Game's a lot more fun once you get your mount? Okay. Disney Dad. <laughs> Bro, was there no knockoff in this game? Greedy boy. He is greedy. Squavit. Alright. Okay, didn't cancel the nickname. Just back from school, I had a pretty rough day. How was your day? It's alright so far. Zone 1. It's a squirrel, right? Love it. Hmm. What do we call this? No, no Squavit fans, I guess. D's. Okay. And they'll they'll just have to guess what, what 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 we want them to associate with these. <laughs> Nobody likes these. <laughs> Not like we're ever gonna see him again anyway, right? Goodbye, Squavit. These berries. Hey, little chunks of sleep here. Uh, we'll send out our Foy Coco, right? We want him to be with us. Is this a Pokemon? Oh, it's a human. <laughs> oh, he fought a Squabbit? Get him. There really isn't a real Sonic 06 of Pokemon. Uh, I mean, this is feeling kind of close. <laughs> It's definitely better than Sonic 06, but uh, there's some real technical issues so far. Day 2 patch, don't worry. Knockoff still exists, they only removed its TMs? Okay. Is, it, is Scald not in the game? Whoa, I almost ran into those. 
Scald is basically gone, though. Your character has negative drip? We haven't gotten a chance to change yet. Thank you for beta testing this game for you guys. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm sure between the time of the Japanese midnight release and the Western releases later in the day, uh, they'll fix all the technical issues. Don't worry. Just have faith, guys. The Gen 4 remakes are Sonic 06 bad anymore? I think... I think in the context of Pokemon as a franchise, uh, yeah, I probably would say the Gen 4 remakes were Sonic 06 bad. At least Sonic 06 has a uh, fun speedrunning community now, because it's so broken. <laughs> Hi, how's the game so far? It's, uh, it's a Pokemon game. <laughs> Uh, I, I'll, I think I the most positive thing I can say so far is that there's there hasn't been too much hand holding, the tutorials haven't been that bad, and we've gotten a surprisingly diverse team so far. Considering I guess we're still in the tutorial, haven't even been to the school yet, we've been able to get quite a few Pokemon. Is what I'll say so far. But yeah, there's no voice acting, of course. Hey, is this a Bonsley? Sure. Let's see, a roundel probably won't kill. Oh, it has sturdy anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh wow. Any uh any nicknames for Bonsley? Does this count for Johto's finest? I think Johto's finest is uh only if you have a if you're a Johto Pokemon that gets a new evolution. Bonsai, Truewood, Realitry, I like Realitry. I really don't want voice acting, uh, I want Simspeak or Animal Crossing gibberish, that would be fine. We'll go with Realitry for now. So I will ask here, does Sudowoodo get an evolution? Because the, um, that determines whether or not it's eligible for Johto's Finest. Nope, okay, so... It's not, then. Although Sudowoodo is also not, like, meme tier bad. You can make Sudowoodo grass type, though. Oh. Really hard to notice all these tiny Pokemon. I'm just gonna run. This is your reality now. We already have a Whooper, by the way. That's why I didn't catch it. Oh, stutter. Swift. Okay, we're almost to school. Black Quagsire ha Is this an item? Oh, it is. It's just a potion. I guess we'll just let Fue Coco. Is this a fight? What a cool Pokemon. Oh, it is a fight. So you have to actually talk to them. Let me show you this awesome looking Pokemon I just caught. Alright, let's see how you do, kid. Luca. Oh, Trudel's in this game. This thing, Water Rock, right? Bite, I guess. Can't wait until you get Paldi and Luke. I mean, we already have one. But all of the Johto Pokemon we're not going to use until the Johto's Revenge is special. Protect. Covet. That's like, uh, thief, right? I, mean, I guess we'll take that. 60 base power? It's better than tackle, right? Let's coveting. Day 2 patch will add sun flourish.
I guess just looking cool doesn't cut it. Alright, get him. Defeated a Lechonk. Has uh, Fido made any mistakes so far? Not yet, but he is next. Got some Lechonk hair. Doesn't look like there's anything new. So far, Legends Arceus blows this out of the water. I don't know how it blows out of the water, but it definitely was more fun. Is this a new battle? Dude, it's a it's a Foy Coco extinction. He's destroying them. Chestoberry, interesting. Revive. What are you leveling up? Uh, right now we're just leveling up Foy Coco. Doesn't look like we get that. We got a lot of hop at least. Scatter bugs, nothing new here. We should probably just go to school and get the new movement mechanics, right? The second day one patch will overclock the console. The game runs at a stable 40. 30 FPS instead of a stable 360, 12 FPS. It's not even stable. So, is this Volo? Who is this dude? Is this a fight? Bro, why are you standing in the middle of a field? I'm gonna defeat you so my Pokemon can get even tougher. Alberto the Worker. Okay, so they changed the naming convention. It's not Worker Alberto. It's Alberto the Worker. What are you working on? There's, there's nothing here. Hey, Shanks is in this game. Intimidate. Well, well, we'll be okay. We've got Ember. Level 7. So, so far, every enemy has only had one Pokemon. Thundershock, don't paralyze me. Okay. Wow, animation is really fast. That's good. Crit definitely matters. Goodbye, Shanks. Defeated Alberto the Worker. Alberto is working on patching the game. Get back to work, Alberto. <laughs> you've, you've got a long road ahead of you. <laughs> Alberto, we're counting on you. <laughs> I don't think there's any new Pokemon I missed here in this area. I can use the same number of Pokemon as the gym leaders when you fight them. I think, I know we did that for um, Diamond and Pearl, but we also knew what all the Pokemon were. And I, I want to kind of keep that secret, so I probably am not going to do that. I'm probably just going to use a full team of six each time. Hang hey, with some nice Pokemon battles. Is this a battle? Who are you? Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? Well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1 of South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. Oh, okay. So have you defeated three trainers here in Area 1 of the South Province? Once you defeat four trainers, you'll get a lovely prize. Is it a nugget? Man, sounds like a Team Rocket recruiter. I can tell you how many Pokemon each leader has. Slow down. We could do that. Um, but one thing is that... What? Look, look where the water meets the stone. That looks terrible. <laughs> he gives that held items? Oh, we could use one. I think I also expect that the gym leaders won't have many Pokemon, so I'd rather just have full teams so we can at least try out everyone. This is a trainer, right? This is a ranger? I came to Mesagoza to make some deliveries, but let's have a quick battle. Bro, you can't just fight kids on the job. Iker the Courier. It's Ike! Bro, local man comes to make a delivery and beats up students. Uh, Rookity is a pure flying type, right? We like Iker. Dude, looking like looking like FE10 Iker, though. This guy's buff. He fights for his friends. Guess I delivered you a win. Thanks, Iker. All right, now we've got, we've beaten four, so we can get a new thing. <laughs> Ike's our bike. 
So far, you've defeated four trainers. Give me the item. What's my lovely prize? Thunder Wave. I guess I can use that. Oh, and now we can craft Thunder Wave as well. Okay. Well, we, we like Ike. Uh, I think we can probably try using Fido soon. Get him. Is that a trainer? That's a trainer, right? Auto battling is okay, I guess. What happens if we level up in an overworld battle like this and there's an evolution? Do we just get a prompt to evolve from a menu? Maybe. I also don't know what the... Oh, oh, can we get up there? Get up there! Get up there! Okay. You will see, it'll auto-trigger an evolution screen. Okay. Oh, a heal ball, cool. Is this a trainer? It looks like a trainer. Any trainer worth their salt knows. Well, I'm definitely salty. Whoa. Um, this is not very polite of us. <laughs> Pop quiz. What happens when a Pokemon's HP runs out? Kid, uh... <laughs> and Hoppip just casually phases through both, both of us. We are literally right at her chest height. <laughs> Slack off! It's Bumbles! I love Bumbles! Ember. Alright, well, we're obviously way, way, way over level. We're literally double their level. And we haven't been grinding, have we? I mean, we've done a couple overworld battles, that's about it. And the overworld battles give us like 5 XP. The answer is, as you can see, they get too exhausted to fight. And we got 420 in prize money, thank you. Alright, let's go to school. Can't wait for Legends Rayquaza, and they still have slacking get truant despite being a game with no abilities. Well, I mean... You, see, you saw what they did to Regigigas, right? So... Can we try out a uh, Palmied battle? Yeah, we can. Poke Portal, what is this? Oh, is that internet? So why we'll make this lead Pokemon? Interesting, you, you can switch it really quickly. Let me try Palmy to battle. I guess we can fight a Lechonk. What? Okay. This thing's so small. Wow, that's pathetic. <laughs> Alright, we tried out small me in battle. I don't like it. <laughs> there you go. That's my analysis. Oh, it's a physical fighter? Okay. But we don't have any physical... We have Scratch and Quick Attack. We'll Scratch it, I guess. You told me it was a physical fighter. <laughs> Why did you lie to me? Quick Attack. That Quick Attack looks pretty good. Physical Electric, uh-oh. <laughs> Let's try out uh, Harambe. We have disarming voice, right? But uh, let's just tackle. All right, two AKO. Oh, three AKO. Uh, oh, two AKO. It was two AKO. Got him. Not too impressive. What can you craft with Lechonk hairs? I'm not sure. I don't think we can use Lechonk though. Kevin's supposed to be super strong, right? No spoilers, but Pommy isn't a generic Pika clone. Ooh, interesting. Do we have a flying move on this thing? Okay, so you can move the camera around, but you can't actually move the player, so it's really hard to get a good angle. Copy. Oh, we have Peck. Okay. 
Dude, this thing is literally just a flamingo. Is this even a Pokemon? <laughs> it looks like the, um... The Snagrit from... Pikmin. Alright, Doge. I don't want spoilers, so I'm not physically looking yet. Sorry, I st I'll watch when the copy comes in, but I'm just here for the algorithm boost for you. Thank you. Boy Coco appreciates your efforts. He's not in the frame, though. There we go. Alright, we'll do one fight with Fido, and then we will go ahead and go into the school. It sucks until it evolves. Is Kevin a Jagan? It's not like anyone's keeping that thing on their team long. I mean, 500 BST is good. Uh, I wonder what Fido's uh, stat spread sounds or looks like. And Doge. Where'd I get that plush? I got it from the Pokemon Center in Shibuya. Covet. Uh, so let's see. 13, 17 attack and 18 speed? Yo! Oh, we have minus speed, though. Oh, no. Where is Charizard? <laughs> Oh, we caught it off guard. Oh, so do we get a bonus? Lick. Oh, it tells us has no effect. Coveted. What an animation. Oh, it flinches first turn. Okay. All right, we're we're gonna covet. What an animation. Of it. <laughs> Can we teach Fido anything? Emotional damage. <laughs> well, disarming voice does the emotional damage, right? Uh, let's see. We have uh, disarming voice TM, right? I think. Protect. We don't need struggle bug. Confuse ray. Metal claw. Thunder wave. No, we don't. Well, Doge is a fairy type, right? Do we have any fairy moves? Check summary. Check summary, right? Rearrange moves. Remember a move. No, we don't have any. So we just don't have a fairy stab yet. Can we see ta Tarantula? Sure. Get him, Tarantula. Did you use Double Kick yet? Uh, we saw Double Kick. It's exactly what you think. Can you Tarantulaize yet? Not yet. Oh, we, we have Struggle Bug, though. It's stat? We're so slow. Struggling? That's so pathetic. What? And we're getting disarmed. Emotional damage. Bro, that was a crit? This thing is pathetic. What? <laughs> Horrible. We're definitely struggling. We're definitely taking emotional damage. This thing might die. I hope it gets stronger when it evolves. Good lord. What is this, like a 6 hit KO? Awful. Level 9, we still haven't evolved. It's okay after it evolves. I think we're gonna go back to a Fue Coco lead. And then we can, uh, we can use, um, Fido after it actually learns some moves. It sucks. OJ, cheese. It's OJ, right? OJ. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? I bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all have learned in battle? Oh, we can fight her, sure. All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, cheese. Let's have us a fruitful battle. I guess that's her catchphrase then. Fruitful? Hang on, I, I have another. Uh, I have another graphic we'll use if we win. Get ready to die, cheese? Is it is it gonna be difficult? I'm not that scared, I have a full team.
Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Sprigatito. Well, we know how this is going to go, right? I wonder if Sprigatito is faster than us. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Oh, what are we going to do? I think we're going to hit Ember. Wow, it's still faster than us. Alright, so this is our first instance of switch theme gaming, because we're going to be asked to switch here, right? You really work your type matchup. I can tell how badly you want to win. Don't worry. Oh, can we get a move, please? Bite. Yeah, I'll take bite. Can I get a stab move, please? <laughs> Lick could work, right? So Lick and Bite have the exact same coverage. You don't need Growl. Palmy. That's an electric type, right? Keep current Pokemon. Ask for advice. Wow, do you better than I expected? You're legit, cheese. Hey, where are the Moon Moons? We're gonna do our first playthrough in English. If we do any sort of challenge thing, we'll go ahead and use Japanese. Battling use a blast. I think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Is it Terra time? Terra? So it's a Terra electric type. So the Terra type is the same as their base type for most Pokemon? Terrestrializing is always a solid strategy. It gives moves of the Pokemon's Terra type more power. Oh no, we took more damage than we would have otherwise. I think we're okay. And it changes the lighting. So we like disappear for a second before we get Thundershock? It's kind of weird. Um, the terror breaks and they faint. Is it? A only run impossible? No, because we can box all of our Pokemon except for one. So as long as we only have one Pokemon in our team, we don't get the switch prompt. I can't believe how fast we're improving. So there was no like huge intro for Terra. She just tells us like, hey, you can terrestrialize. <laughs> hey, amazing. Look at you taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? We can't. Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Yes, no. Can you even set it on set instead of Switch anymore? They removed set. Three revives. I'm, I don't think a single Pokemon has fainted yet. Now, Mesogos is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. Oh, it's a city. Cool. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Okay. Alright, door opening animation. That's going to hurt set only Nuzlocke? Well, I mean, you can still play as if it's set. You just have to press B twice. You can just pretend it's set. Oh, finally, we get to see stairs again. Bro, these graphics are... This literally looks worse than Sonic 06. <laughs> Come on, guys. Alright, here I am. We finally made it, huh? I guess she finished taking her break? This is Mesagoza, the biggest city in Paldea? Wow, it's already the biggest city? It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. It's a bit of an awkward sentence. Lots of folks here come to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. Technology is incredible. This is my favorite GameCube game. This looks worse than Plaza Delfino. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus, tastes, plus places with tasty food and fixings. Yeah, it looks like she's uh, eating some tasty food. She just has a cup of water. What do you want to see first, Cheese? The hair salon, tasty food. The food, I guess. Ha, <laughs> I didn't have you pegged for a big eater. But that's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy, right? Oh, and speaking of battling, 
I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, jeez. There's a few things that... There's a few things that gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Okay. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. Okay. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you've got to see Delibird presents. Oh my god. Delibird. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up to school are no joke. She says the stairs aren't a joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Okay. Delibird gets a new form? I guess he can go to Johto's Finest then. Look at these Swablus. You okay? Okay, and they get better when you get closer. Welcome. Hey, it's a Bronzong. So this is a slope. Slopes are okay. Bro, like this color palette makes my eyes bleed. So we're supposed to get some food or something? Oh, they sell ice cream. Sure. Raid power? Oh. So th these are like food buffs. Teriyaki ice cream? This sounds horrendous. What? We gotta get the salt ice cream. It's salty, but also sweet. Who will I eat ice cream with? <laughs> oh, can we battle anything here? Delibird being good is intriguing. Well, I don't know if it's actually good yet. I have no idea. No spoilers, please. This guy's got a whole... He's got a squabbit. Star-shaped sunglasses. Is this the drip? Can we go in? Welcome to Seabreeze Cafe, a space to relax away from the hustle and bustle of daily life. It's just a screen. There's no shop? What? They don't even have a storefront. It's literally just a menu. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on. Hey, it's Pachirisu. They spent all the budget on Johto's finest. <laughs> is this a store? It, or is this like a house? Can we go in here? Nah, I can't go in here. This is another person with a Bronzong? I guess they just really like Bronzong. Ah, Bronzong. Yeah. <laughs> Bronzong is so soothing. It lets me get inside it from time to time. It's the most calming, peaceful experience? What? Is Bronzong hollow? I guess it is. Alright, interesting dialogue in this game so far. <laughs> uh, can we go in this house? No. This looks like a chocolate bar, by the way. <laughs> Sponsored by Hershey's? It's literally a chocolate bar. Come on, guys. Alright, let's see what's, uh, what can we buy here? Okay, they're all just the same menu. I mean, the menu might be different, but it's... I literally mean, like, the same game menu. It's just a wood texture. Okay. Can't go in this one either. Can we go in any doors? This is... Oh, look. Okay, she said to go to Delibird Deliveries, right? Delibird's right here. It's time for Delibird Gaming, right? What? There's no stores. Battle items. Okay, you can buy held items. Well, I guess I'll take a... Oh, they're kind of expensive. What's this ability shield? Wow. Uh, useless ability. Useless item. Focus band, quick claw, we don't need. Okay, I guess we'll just take the... We need to get muscle band or wise glasses. This is gonna be uh, pretty useful, right? We'll get some glasses.
It's all our money. <laughs> General goods. Oh, wow. This is really early to get the uh, IV items. I'm glad you can just buy them. Okay. Pokeballs. Uh, we already we bought a ton, right? Rotom phone cases. We don't have any money, though. Uh, I guess I messed up. I mean, I'd rather have an actual item that does stuff. Wow, um, great shopping interface. Okay, see, this guy actually has a store. Hola, for fresh produce, look no further than Deli Siosco, what would you like? I'd like to buy. Okay, I don't need this stuff. I'm back, taking a short study break. How many gym badges does Cheese have? Zero. <laughs> we haven't even been to school yet. Great. What's great, lady? Is that all you have to say? Just great. It's just an old lady who walks through town saying great. What's great? <laughs> What's great? Is it this game? Lady, I want you to answer me. Give me an answer, lady. It must be the game, right? What a great game. <laughs> what a great game. Come on. Oh, I don't want to be too negative, but... Now, here's another chocolate bar. This game is a tax write off Oh, literally a great game. Hasta luego. I, I mean, I guess... Another chocolate bar. Well, that's it. What is it? Well, I'm completely lost. Time to boot up the old map app. Okay. I'll admit I'm not impressed so far. That's right. What's right, man? Wh who are you talking to? Who are you responding to? What's right? Meowth, where are you? <laughs> Alright, did... We're supposed to go shopping, right? <laughs> Meowth, that's right. <laughs> okay, we can't enter any buildings. Does this guy have anything to say? No, nothing. This is literally Sonic 06. That's right. Great. Preparation is the key to success. Sure. What is this? Can we go in here? Just keep going west. How does he know where we're going? You reach Cortondo if you head out to the west gate and just keep going. They have their harvest festival around this time of year. That must be the grass area. Anything here? Ooh. Found a, found a DM. Substitute. Don't forget to set up a sub. Can we go in here? No. Okay. Story gated. Literally story gated. Ugh. Hey, it's a Starly. Starly's really good. Delibird Presence. It's another one. Does it sell different things? Looks like the same things. So why are there two stores in the same town that sell the exact same thing? Hello? <laughs> what? This was a different store, right? So there's just two stores, like a couple steps away from each other, that sell the exact same thing. Why? What? <laughs> okay, so we can't enter any of the houses, so I'm not even going to try. And I'm guessing they also just sell, like, picnic stuff? Is this... What is this? This looks like, uh... Is this clothes? Oh! Hello? Hello? Well, we went in the store. <laughs> uh, wish granted, <laughs> we got in the store. <laughs> what a great game!
<laughs> what a great game. <laughs> Hacker voice. I'm in. Uh, we're really cheesing the game here. Small multi-dollar company. Hello? Can I leave? Okay, I can. Oh! So you weren't supposed to do... <laughs> I can buy a pickle. J just one pickle chip. What else can we tempt you with? Oh my god. How did we, how did we do that? Come on, guys. Save just in case? Yeah. Bro, I can't believe... Okay, so I was intending to do a first impressions video. I think it's just gonna be a day one, like... Visual bug compilation? <laughs> like... I didn't think I'd have material for that. This is a dead end? This way is a dead end. All you'll find down there is the gopher broke grill. But there was another one of those, right? Egg power. So what's the point? I want to know about egg power. Some meals here will fill you with egg power. That'll make it easier to find Pokemon eggs when you're out in a picnic. Okay. Oh, I'm looking to the Gopher Broke Grill. Paella de Paldea. Oh my god. This game is a disaster. <laughs> How is the game so far, though? I mean, can, can, we, can we... Can we replicate our success? Can we get in the, can we get in the building? Let's see if we can do it. Ah, uh, they must have patched the game. Nope. Does this game have, like, quests and stuff? Uh, not yet. The pavement is nausea-inducing? Uh, it's not that bad. Do you care how big your Pokemon are? Uh, we named our boy- Bro. They did this on purpose, right? Like, there's no way to talk to this lady politely. <laughs> she can judge how big or small our Pokemon are? <laughs> lady, you can't talk this way to a child. You can't just ask a child if they want to know how big they are. Is this a shop? It is, okay. So there's like a bunch of tiny shops that all sell like really minor things. I don't think we need any of this, right? Okay, here's a bunch of shops. Is this the same? Go for Bro Grill. There's like three of these. What? The best adult dating site? I'll be honest, I might take you up on that offer. I'd rather do that than play this. Time to... time to ban, though. <laughs> There's no interiors to any of the shops. What's this? This is a new shop, right? There's literally no interiors. Borados? They're all just... menus. This is, this has got to be, this has to have an interior, right? This looks like a salon or something. No, it's just more seafood. Bro. Did we, like, fall when we left the shop? Look at this. Look at this. We, like, teleport out and fall once we close the menu. What is this? <laughs> C 
come on, guys. It's, it's because of the step. We teleport, like, right above... We teleport to the space above the step, and then we fall. <laughs> come on, guys. Oh, what a great game. We got a roleplay, right? Welcome, welcome. Seafood Fresco is happy to serve you. Oh, you're not gonna pay? Well, get out, you brat. Let me just toss you out. Coffee shop? Yeah, it's also just a... Uh... There's no point to going to any of these stores, right? This one also causes us to teleport, right? No, okay, this one's fine. And this is a sandwich shop? <gasps> oh! Sandwich gaming? You can actually go inside and see people... Um... Oh, he actually eats the sandwich? Actually a good game. Let's go! <laughs> he They actually eat the sandwiches too! Finally! <laughs> Sandwich emotes in the chat. Come on. <laughs> Gulpin, are you enjoying your sandwich? Okay, so there's one interior. If I put the fillings in like so and then do the condiments like this. Oh, hello. I really I was really thinking hard about something right now. I research sandwich recipes, you see. My dream is to one day discover amazing recipes worthy of being called Master Level. I can teach you recipes, too, if you like. Okay. If I think of new recipes, I'll be sure to teach them to you. Okay, so we need to learn recipes. We can't just do them on our own. That's fine. Every kind of sandwich, any way you want. Welcome to every which way. That's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> the interior is real. Vending machine, can we buy anything? Oh, we can. Cool. We don't have any money, though. The sandwich eating animation is horrendous. Is there a sandwich eating animation? Alright, I'll, I'll... Okay, I think we're done with... So, that was the only shop that had any interior. There's no indication that this is the only shop that has an interior. You'll have to make a picnic? Hopefully we can reach the picnic today. Ugh. Anything over here? This is just another shop, right? Where's the fashion? Is this a salon? This looks like a salon, right? It's just closed. This is a bookstore? No, it's just closed. Splendid. What's splendid, lady? Lots going on today. Splendid. Hasta luego. Oh, my God. Sell things at the Pokemon Center for cash? I guess we could do that. We don't have to buy anything, though. Can we buy... Can we buy clothes? This is... This is clothes, right? No, it's Picnic Knacks. The one-stop shop for all your picnic needs? I don't need a tablecloth, bro. Ugh. Pokemon materials. This is clothes, right? Bags. We can get new bags. Can I see the bag, please? Okay. It just takes a while to load. <laughs> can I see the... Bro, this is so slow. One, two... One, two... Th one, two... Two seconds between the, uh... Between the previews. So my question is, why do we have to disappear into the abyss each time we want to see a new bag? Why doesn't the bag just swap? Surely there's a way to do this, right? I'm all done shopping for now. Bro, every time you get sent out into the world, you get, like, whiplash. 
Okay, we're back. The dialogue destroyed the stream. I wonder what people are saying. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Dude, imagine the barber says, what are you thinking today? And you say, just go nuts. <laughs> what? Okay. You can't actually customize your outfit apart from your hat and bag? We can't change our clothes? You can only change the three other different school uniforms? Why? Bro. <laughs> Go outside and press left on the D-pad? Okay. Loading? Hello? Oh, okay. It takes a little while. Summer uniform. Is that what I'm in right now? No, I have to press A to change the look. Preview appearance. Hello? Winter uniform. Are these the only outfits we get? Would you like to go with this outfit? Yes. Oh, boy. Yikes. Do your thing, wind. What does that mean? Do your thing, wind? Is this like a riddle? <laughs> Dude, zero drip. There's no drip. Dude, best adults dating sites? I, I think I really might take them up on the offer. I really might. Thanks for watching the stream, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go meet some hot singles in my area. Steel types destroyed. <laughs> Can somebody please tell me what the wind is supposed to do? What is the wind's thing? Hot craft singles in my area. How about these stairs? Nope. We'll, we'll make a hi highlight clip. <laughs> God. Ugh. Is this an enemy trainer? What is this? Oh, this is like Team Star, right? Dude, it's the new Fire Emblem protagonist. <laughs> Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Guys, it's it's the Fire Emblem Engage protagonist. <laughs> Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Grunt A. Love the name. Um, I'd rather not. Pokemon in game. Help her out? Her? Oh, okay. Walk away. We can just walk away. We'll help Colgate Goon. Huh? You went in on this too? Oh, is this a double battle? If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. Pokemon Masters EX. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? I mean, the lady on the right was flickering? So you know exactly who you're messing with, and you're still coming at us with that attitude? You're scary, kid. If you joined Team Star, you'd be looking down from the top in no time. Hey, can we... We can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. If you, you keep watch on that little four eyes over there. Oh, that's the one that's not us. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Wait, can we not wear glasses in this game? Okay, well, that's a fun animation. Okay, so Team Star Bat theme. Oh, Shrewdle, this is new. I wonder what type this is. Looks like a bug. 
scratch. Oh, it's not a bug, but it died anyway. Do we win? We, we got him. <laughs> we did it. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Wow, they used that they used that line real early. Ugh, why is a nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way, he beat you? Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero Bueno, what do you think you're doing? Ugh, it's that Stoodle Council dweeb. They called her a weeb. Dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Cheese. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need. With me. Very, uh, what is that, Yandere? Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that the wrong... I read, I read that way wrong, sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Ah, hi. We weren't... not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra-rare gift to you. Is it a Terra thing? I wonder what the rare gift is. It's a Terra orb. Really great uh, animation for passing it to us. An orb that holds within it the power to crystallize. When it's charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to rastralize. Okay, if there's a forced Terra here as well, that might make A only impossible. So be careful. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Rococo will be a fire type. I think it already was. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. A favoritism? Now time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explained to you. Okay, so this fight could soft lock us if we do only A. It depends on what it takes to Terra. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us? With his Terra Pokemon, is that it? Guys, this is a mistake, right? This is the wrong wailing. Isn't this wailing as in, like, hunting whales? It's right? I thought it was wailing W-A-I-L-I-N-G. Maybe I've been wrong this whole time. Wailing is crying? Maybe I'm wrong. Got a problem? You want to mess with me instead? Never mind, I'll take my chances with a new kid. It is the right whale? I'm learning from a children's game. All right, this... Is the battle gonna start? Okay. So this might make only A impossible if we have to terrestrialize here. How's it going? It's not going well, my friend. <laughs> here in the Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. The people call this terrestrializing. You can terrestrialize your Pokemon by selecting the terrestrialize button in battle. When a Pokemon terrestrializes, its type changes to its Terra type. Moves of the same type as this Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back, we're back, sorry. It looks like we don't have to terrestrialize. Oh no, the stream was frozen solid. Okay, I'm gonna bite here. Okay, we don't have to terrestrialize, so this the uh the only A buttons the only A button run is safe. Your Pokemon burns so bright. Nice, Cheese. You didn't even have to bother terrestrializing your Pokemon. Wow, and there's different dialogue if you don't terrestrialize. Moves of your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? It's like the third time he's told me. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. Okay. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! Me too, hasta la vista. That's, that's cute. 
She kept dancing even when her teammate lost. How do I feel about the game so far? It's pretty bad. <laughs> Team Store is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh... Well, thanks. Hey, get back to Fire Emblem Engage. So, yeah. See you around. Gone. Aw, look at you, Cheese. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the trouble's died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Do they know? <laughs> Does she know? <laughs> Let's climb the worst staircase in the world. At least we get staircase climbing beats. It's self-aware. They know that you clip right through the stairs. <laughs> Do we at least... It's not just diagonal, right? It's not quite as bad as the stairs in our house, right? I can't believe this. She has seen the stairs at Shinra headquarters. That part of the game is hilarious, though. Is this a store? It's not. Is this guy just walking in place? Oh, he just disappeared. Okay. <laughs> He's out of here. He doesn't want to play this game either. It's a ghost. It's an illusion. It was Zorark, guys. <laughs> hey, it's another sandwich shop. It's a different one, right? Okay, and this is the same sandwich guy, but this Pokemon's different. Okay, the Pokemon are different. Fine way to spend a day. Now and then, yes. Sure it is. Okay. Not sure what I was expecting, but this looks like Sword and Shield too. I think it's worse. <laughs> Have fun with this great game. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Can Pokemon fans finally admit that the technical state of this game is unacceptable? Well, it's been like, it hasn't even been four hours. Look at this! And they like force walk you. And the forced walk is even worse because it's not even diagonal. Look at this! Come on. Ha, I love it. What do you love, kid? What is it? Oh my god. People on Twitter blaming pirated copies and emulators? This is the official release, guys. <laughs> this is the official release. Oh, okay, so what's this guy actually supposed to do? He's not supposed to teleport. I want to go home. <laughs> what time we play the game on digital? Midnight in whatever region you are. So, I'm in Japan, so that's why I'm able to play it earlier than you guys. Alright, let's go to school. Let's see if anything gets better. CST is my region. I'm not sure where that is. Australia got the game before me. Australia is one hour ahead of Japan. Oh, we get the beats, though. 
What do you have to say? Time to study hard. Yeah, let's study hard together. Hey, his feet... No, his feet do clip. Okay. Is there anything you've liked so far? Not really. I think some of the new designs that I've seen so far are cool. That's about it. I like Fido. <laughs> you can be in Japan as well with today's sponsor, NordVPN. Bro, there's like this one depressed student model. They just keep using it. I gotta get a new notebook. This man is really fun, but oh man, it's held together with a roll of duct tape in a dream. Okay, we can go in here. Alright, we're just gonna, like, teleport over to the door. <laughs> Do these kids not have phones? Do you not have phones? Here we are, Cheese. Welcome to Naranja Academy. This here's the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in, battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon. Battling in the main entrance. Okay. Master Cheese, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. It was tough. I guess we had a blast. I mean, we almost died. I, like, fell down a cliff and almost got killed. I guess we're not going to mention that. <laughs> I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Re reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Sorry I'm messing all this up. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Cheese? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in downtown, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee ba backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Cheese flexed on him and ran off. We flexed on him. <laughs> you don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Master Cheese, but you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And, Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, and Miss Nimona? If you'd be so good to... If, you, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such goings-on. You got it, sir. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in Class 1A, cheese. Come on, I'll show you the way. Oh, we're just going to teleport there. Okay. Firefighting Quake Coco Evo? I hope not. Loading? What? Look at their legs! Hello? <laughs> Stop motion gaming! I'm sorry I'm late to class, Professor. I, I can't move at a double-digit frame rate. This is... Guys, this is not a pirated copy. This is an official... Official version of the game. Good morning, Mr. Jock. Mr. Jock. They let you come to school with hair like that? <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, oh me. I want to hear the news. Are you aware that the child next to you is in is stuck in some sort of time vortex and is unable to move at a normal speed? I suppose I should have seen told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Okay. Well, I guess in their defense, you wouldn't be able to hear whispering anyway. I wonder what they'll be like. 
All right, you can come on in. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure, I'm Cheese. Right, I'm Cheese. All right, well, I'm not feeling like speaking with an exclamation point. So calm and collected, he's pretty cool. God. <laughs> Looks like everyone's eager to know you, Cheese. All right then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, me, can I ask a question? What's your question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Oh, they know, right? They're asking, they're not asking the player character, they're asking me. What's my favorite thing about Pokemon? Why am I playing this game? I like battling with Pokemon. I like collecting Pokemon. I like playing with my Pokemon. I like everything about Pokemon. Guys, I'm actually... I'm taking emotional damage. Somebody used Disarming Voice on me. I guess I like battling with them. Really? Awesome. I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? What's your question, Nimona? You went to all the trouble in rolling here, so spill, cheese. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? I mean, I'd really like it if you would like the stream, subscribe to the channel, and consider evolving into a mighty Patreon. Links in the description. Also, be sure to join my Discord. Link in the description. <laughs> I want to be a strong trainer. <laughs> oh, you will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me. We're going to get so strong battling together. She is Giga Yandere. Is she the villain? Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Cheese. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the Academy. I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat. Second row from the front. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques. Why is she so old? Get to know the Academy by exploring a bit on your own. Okay, now they're fine. It's just during the cutscene? But their, their notebooks like flicker. What? What? Look at this. Dude, what is happening? <laughs> hey, Game Freak. Take notes! <laughs> what are these? Interdimensional notebooks? <laughs> We're not even in the open world. We're not even doing anything. And these notebooks flicker in and out of existence. What? This kid is confounded. He has no idea. Yeah, I do want to talk. Do you have an idea what's going on with these notebooks? <laughs> Looking for Nimona? Is this a smart board? You can now move around the school. Try checking out places on the map where you see that someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Now choose a location and start exploring. Oh, so when they say move around, they mean teleport? I would think that we'd actually be able to walk through the school, right? Or we just go from room to room. Where do I want to go? I'm not- I'm not even in the door! Look! What? Did you see that? I'm facing the wall! <laughs> I guess we'll go to the staff room. Whoa. That is some hair. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my set. So she really is the champion. Every time I see the, every time I see hot craft singles in my area, I am more and more tempted to actually take them up on the offer. 
It's, uh, it's getting really hard to resist. I mean, they do say it's the best adult dating site, right? Better than all the rest. <laughs> okay, sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, hey, Cheese. Oh, Cheese, hey. Who was that? She looked awesome. I mean, she's got some interesting hair. Isn't it like 4 a.m. where I'm at? Yeah, it is. Um, I slept at... I slept during the day in preparation for this. Good eye. She sure is. That lady is. Well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out her ears. She's basically everything I want to be. Or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. I know the 3DS games weren't the best in visual presentation and all, but it was a right for 3DS. No matter how they screwed this up screwed this up this bad in the Switch. I think the 3DS games actually looked great. Which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for, idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Oh, it's a rank. Okay. I don't know. Or yeah, I will. Well, I will. Oh, wow. Hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. Okay. So that's like the League. Once you pass that, then at long last you will be a champion. So there's more than one champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope for. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. It should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. Is the performance as bad as people are saying? Holy moly, it's horrible. It is horrible. <laughs> I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe? They literally said it's the friends we made along the way. Look at the book guy. We'll look after this. A champion was the treasure icon, maybe. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were bo both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Oh, so she gives us all the gems. Cool. I really like the Spagato Doge, thank you. Um, if you join my Discord, link in the description, you can actually find the uh, all of the uh, Doge edits that I make and use. Victory Road, that's cool. I think it's probably a good thing there's no voice acting, probably have a worse English dub than the Xenoblade games. <laughs> Give it some thought. It would really help if it had voice acting because I don't know Spanish, so I, I don't know what she's supposed to be saying to me. And I don't know how to say these words. So, so colorful. What in the... Dude, this guy's got psychic powers! Look at him turn the page! <laughs> he's, he's He's got psychic powers just like Big Brain Omori. Look at that! Whoop! <laughs> he's an airbender. <laughs> Dude, they're all airbenders! Amazing. What else is there to do in the staff room? Nothing. Nobody in the staff room is a staff member, only two of them. I guess we can go to the cafeteria. Munch, 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 munch. Okay, so everybody here is fine in terms of frame rate. Welcome. Hope your studs are going okay. What do you have today? Oh, so you can just... Bro, these sandwiches are so expensive. No subsidized lunches here. What do you get when you mix a Rotom with a microwave? Oh, you get Rotom heat. But there isn't Rotom heat. It's just a... 
When Rotom enters a microwave, it turns into Heat Rotom. I even... I heard he didn't change his type. Okay. This is fruit, right? Fruitful battle? Oh, okay. And what's on top of here? It's, uh... Squavit, right? That are just on top of the... On top of the fume hood, I guess? Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything to really do here. Oh, this is that guy. Can I talk to him? I can. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? I do. Oh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Steel's good type. No need to tell me your name. Cheese, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. Why? The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I guess that's why. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today. Just to talk with you, our new celebrity. Does anybody else find all the crossfades distracting? Like, take notice of every time the scene changes with a crossfade. You gotta help me so I can finally make my dream a reality. Happy to help. What's this dream? What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're agreeing to? Crossfade. Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors. <laughs> the perfectly prepared sandwiches. All of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm searching new recipes. I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients. Prevent aging. It'll even boost the immune system. Dude, this guy's an MLM marketer. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea. And rare to boot. Crossfade. Uh, but this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Because see, Titans are... Well, I think they've got to be... Things like this. Like what? An illustration. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. So he died? A member of the survey team captured this photograph by the survey team and the Titans? <laughs> by the way, um, there's ads in the subway on my way to work for Attack on Titan the Musical. <laughs> Because when I think uh, people getting horribly maimed and eaten by gigantic titans, I, I think about bursting into song. I notice the passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. Cool. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I've never... And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Uh, sure. Nope. Wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map for you. Attack on Titan has a musical? Apparently, because there's ads for it in the subway. We need a phone case for our rotor. Oh, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Titan's Lairs. Path of Legends. Interesting. Legends Arceus. Let it stew a bit, and we can get more into the details later. In the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. A bag of Stardust. Great animation, by the way. You put the bag of Stardust in your bag's treasure pocket. Oh, so that's some money. You gonna say anything? Okay. Give the idea some ri some serious thought, please. Okay. <laughs> Do they have person-shaped subs so you can feel like a titan? No idea. Oh, ro -to 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 -to. I guess that's our phone ringing. Hey, it's Zora. Oh, 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 we gotta be mysterious, right? <laughs> this is cheese, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry, who are you? My name's Cassiopeia. I guess she's a girl, but never mind that. She's using a voice changer, okay? Um, it's you that I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. 
If that description's accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Cheese. You know about Team Star, right? Yes. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some Academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband. For good. I call it... Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation. And I'd like you to be one of them. Yes. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave it to you. Bye. Hope you like the hacker voice. <laughs> oh yeah, just having this top... Hey, the director teleported in. By the way, we're just having this top secret hack conversation in the middle of a... Uh, middle of the cafeteria, just standing here. Just staring at the camera. Ah, Master Cheese. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? So we literally were talking on the phone. <laughs> of course, sir. I'll be more careful. It sure would be easier to sell the illusion if there actually was voice acting, huh? You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Yeah, they do know. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, then, young man. If you don't want, uh... A third party's harvesting your information. Be sure to check out NordVPN. <laughs> Team Star, you say? Okay. Ding dong. Dong ding. Calling Master Cheese to the director's office, please. So my question is, if there is the sound for the ding dong... Why is it also in the text? Like, that's not a big deal or anything, but... Master Chief's the director's office. Okay. Now saving. Can't wait for the inevitable twist of the villain being the director. Hey, no spoilers, but probably. Can we read this book? There's a book entitled Status Conditions of Catching Pokemon. Do you want to read it? Ah, we're fine. Some people play on mute. That is true. Although, I think it's fair for the game to expect you to have the sound on. Where? What is this? Can we go in here? Where do you want to go? Director's office. Oh, okay. Bro, everyone reading a book is psychic. Textbooks are great. You're not a real kid. Reading out loud from your textbooks gets your ears and mouth in on the learning. Actually true. I usually try to read out loud because it helps me memorize things. Because then, not only are you reading things, you're also speaking them and hearing them. Actually, actually a real tip. So nobody's really doing anything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's fine. Is it fine, lady? Is it really fine? It, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Interested in any classes? Sure. Let's see what you have to offer. Good morning, Master Cheese. What class would you like to take? Biology, Math, Battle Studies. Oh, wow. What do you think about the new Pokemon so far? I like the Pokemon. Battle Studies with Miss Dendra. Sure. Is this like a mini game, or are we, we going to fight her? Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. Tyranitardy. So is this going to be like a battle simulator? Who is this? Oss! Say hello to your battle instructor, the one, the only, the hot-blooded Dendra. Oss is a karate thing, by the way. Look it up. Actually true. I don't have to look it up. I know. My age, 25. My hobby, working out. My type, well, is it is it YouTube streamer? Strong and muscular fighting types, of course. Nah, not me. That's all for my introduction. As for my class, this is where you you all get to learn the nitty gritty. The background is flickering and it's really hurting my eyes. 
We'll start with the basics so that no trainer gets left in the dust, even if you're new to this stuff. Okay, now the flickering stopped. Have no fear. Leave it to me and my muscles and you'll be pros in no time. Let's set our fighting spirits ablaze together. together. Hey, that's what uh, Rengoku says. We said set your heart ablaze. Pokemon have all kinds of attack moves at their disposal, and each move has certain qualities that you want to remember. I'm talking about the power type and category of these moves. Category? Oh, like physical or special? Higher power means more damage, especially if your opponent is weak to that move's type. Heads up, new kid. Question coming your- Oh, don't she doesn't know. I'm a Pokemon YouTuber. There are two categories attack moves can fall under. You know what they are? Physical and special, lady. <laughs> moves of light and moves of darkness. But I know beyond a doubt. That Kingdom Hearts is light. <laughs> moves you love and moves you hate. <laughs> We're into a tier list. Uh, physical and special. Awesome. You're just as sharp as I expect, new kid. Looks like you have a handle on the basics. Anyway, attack moves are split into two categories. Physical and special. Physical moves do more damage the higher the Pokemon's attack stat is. And special moves do more damage the higher the Pokemon's special attack stat is. On the other side of things, Pokemon getting hit by these moves can take less damage by having a high defense or special defense stat, respectively. Yes. In conclusion, Pokemon that are good with physical moves should raise their attack stat, and Pokemon that are good with special moves should raise their special attack stat. Trying to raise both of these stats equally will just make it hard for the Pokemon to shine in battle. True! She knows that mixed attackers are bad. Make your strong points stronger, I always say. That goes for both Pokemon and people. Yes! Aw oh, man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home, but I guess we're out of time. Oh, so there's no battle. We'll generally meet for my class here in the schoolyard, even for book learning. Nothing like a little fresh air to make studying more fun, am I right? But class is over for now. Take care, you little rascals. Okay. Yo, oh, Dendra, she's got brawn and brains. I'm a fan. And she's 25. I'm 28. Not too much of an age gap. There's Battle Studies 2. Math. You'd like math with Miss Time? Is this actually a math class? There's no way, right? It, there's gotta be like a Pokemon twist, right? You're 28? I don't look 28? Thank you. Uh, it's the, uh, it's the Asian thing. Time. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. My name's Time, and I'll be your math teacher. Sorry to put you all on the spot at the start of class, but let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy numbers, arithmetic, and the like? Is this actually a math class? There's no way. Oh my, haha, <laughs> thank you for your honest responses. Some of you may like numbers, and some may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. I look 35? Do I look older? <laughs> uh, but no matter your opinion on math, I hope you find yourself enjoying our lessons together. I'll do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all types of math lessons. Speaking of which, are you all caught up on your strengths of Pokemon-type matchups? Okay. For example, grass is strong against water, and water is strong against fire, correct? Jeez, you seem to be good with Pokemon, so let me ask you this. Bearing in mind that water is strong against fire, if the move Water Gun hits a fire-type Pokemon, what becomes of the move's damage? I'm not going to get swindled. I'm not going to get swindled. It's doubled. You look like the creepy uncle I don't have. I'm glad I can fill that role for you. It's the lighting, okay? <laughs> using moves of a type that your opponent is weak to is a super effective tactic. It multiplies the damage of the moves by two. On the other hand, using moves of a type that your opponent is resistant to isn't very effective. It divides the damage of your moves by two. Haha, <laughs> I didn't mean to encroach on Miss Dendra's battle studies th territory, of course, but I thought it best to use a lively topic as an example. That can make math fun even for those of you who don't like the subject much, don't you think? Okay, so it's just the type chart thing. Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it too. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you guys. I know we haven't done a battle in a very long time. Reminder to assign the homework? I'm not that kind of student, no. Uh, we'll just do a biology thing. You look 17. <laughs> isn't that a movie with Zac Efron? 17 again. What path are you doing first, Cheese? Do I have to choose one, or do I get to do both? I get to do both, right? <laughs> wow, we can we can see her private photos on on that site, really? They're private, and yet you're nice enough to share them with us. Thank you. 
Good thing that fire is uh, super effective against steel, and I am a fire type trainer. Hello, hello, my name is Jacques, and I'll be your Pokemon biology teacher. In my class, we'll, we'll all learn about the various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together. Abilities? I hope you all come to love Pokemon even more from the things you learn here. In today's class, I'll teach you a great way to get to know Pokemon in depth. If you'd like to become better friends with your Pokemon, you can let them come out of their Pokeball and walk along with you. Sounds great, huh? You can use the ZR button to throw a Pokeball and let out the Pokemon inside. Nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon run around underfoot, if you ask me. Once you let your Pokemon out, try speaking to them. They're sure to respond in some way. It's a great way to get to know them better. However, letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Can anyone tell me where it is that you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk alongside you? Um, inside buildings? That's right, great job, Cheese. I see you did your homework. The correct answer is that we should not walk with our Pokemon indoors. How about that? Some Pokemon might damage walls, desks, and other things walking around inside buildings, so it's not allowed regardless of the species. Therefore, please only let your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs while indoors. Outdoors, okay, everyone? I think I see them out and about in classrooms from time to time, but still. Anyway, you may become even closer friends with your Pokemon pals by walking together. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your lead Pokemon. Remember, use the ZR button to throw a ball and let the Pokemon out inside. Uh, uh, let the Pokemon inside. Okay. Uh, you'll also want to remember that throwing a ball at a wild Pokemon will start a battle. It looks like that's all the time we have today. See you all at the next class. This is almost as boring as actual school. I agree. I really wish they had voice acting. I'm glad you're playing this right now and not me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh my god, Fido. Make no mistake, Fido. You little fuck. <laughs> you little fuck. This is optional. I think we're just gonna go to the director's office. You should see what you can find by exploring the academy. Uh... Alright, let's go to find the... We have to go to the uh, principal's office, right? Or director's office? Why is there, like, a gate here? The load times are so long. We haven't met the professors yet. Thank you for coming, Master Cheese. Have you been enjoying your time here at the Naranja Academy? Not particularly. No. I see. Do you remember I'm always here to lend an ear should you find yourself struggling in any way? Crossfade. Uh, now you may be wondering why we could not sim have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh, what's that? It's pronounced Naranja? Okay. Ah, uh, no, I'm afraid they weren't actually here in the room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Zoom call? Crossfade. Oh, hey! It's her? Hello, Cheese. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea. Uh, at a site known as Area Zero. Oh, okay, she's gonna block her face. With just a still image, okay. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Alright, we just have to keep fading to black in between this? Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Chief, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Koraidon, is that correct? Hey, they finally mentioned it again. Yes. Thank you, I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Fade to black. And we're back here. Ah, not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? A fade to white. Uh, Agya. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Yes! Karadon was once in my care, you see. Oh. Fade to black. 
It's Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. Alright, and that's her son, right? I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Coridon on my behalf? Is the game out? It is in Japan, which is where I am. Uh, yes. I do appreciate your agreement. Fate to Black? Coridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. Uh, Crossfade? I'll provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Fade to black? Until then. Fade to black? Fade to black for one line! Agriga! Gias! Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Oh. Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. Fade to black. <laughs> well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Koraidon. Just a couple transitions there. <laughs> Why didn't they just zoom in on the screen? Like, what you would expect to actually happen there, right, is because... Because the TV is in the, the room, that you would have the characters looking at the TV. And that when Professor Sada is talking, you see her, her face on the screen. Right? Why does it keep just going to her office? Hello, excuse me. Crossfade? Oh, you're still here, Cheese. Oof, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? <laughs> nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Shock wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Cheese. Let's go check it out. Hey, that's how we can change the time, right? Your dorm room. Two to three hours, zero gyms, one legendary found. <laughs> and not a single Pokemon ranked. Ta 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 chan. From today on, this is your room, cheese. Wow, we even get a hot plate? Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. <laughs> room with Neomar already. Uh, maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy. And you must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow. When you've rested up, then we can battle even more. Take care. This is a cursed bed position, because it's right next to the window. <laughs> Get out of my room. No, this dorm is literally bigger than my apartment. Is this like a closet? This leads to the bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. Okay. Do they expect a 10-year-old to cook your, their own food? I guess. It's your study desk. It's got plenty of handy space to put things to the side, too. Can I sleep on it? Ready to call it a day? You'll need to rest if you want to be prepared for your new school life. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naranja Academy. Okay, so this is a time skip, I guess. And then at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Why is there no music? It's completely silent. What? Attention all students. Today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard while I'll explain in more details. Dude, the sound in this game is so scuffed. It's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Okay. Now saving. Okay, well, I've got some new decorations, but I can't actually look at them. Oh, okay, let's go. Where do you want to go? Schoolyard. Okay, this loading was a little faster.
Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explain your independent study assignments. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I'll ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. Okay. You've all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. I really wish there was voice acting. <laughs> Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. It's a still image. Discover that Pokemon live here. And get to know people too. Nice slideshow. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Yeah, there's... Share each other's thoughts and feelings. It's really hard to read this text and find something you might always treasure because there's no background to the text. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers... Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward. Also, this text is really fast for, like, little kids. I don't think they can keep up. Bro, do I have to voice act this game for you? Come on. Reading skill issue? <laughs> What's the matter, you little... Seven years old, can't read yet? Too bad. I guess you don't get to know the story. Tamaya, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclazar, we're riding out. Wasn't this his first day of school? No, there was a time skip. Take care, everyone, and remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. What are you waiting for, Cheese? Let's go. I want to at least go on a picnic. So I have about two more hours I'm able to play for before I have to start getting ready for work. Cheese, cheese! The treasure hunt, it's finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. Are we gonna crossfade? Nah, we're just gonna cut, okay. The treasure hunt is a huge part of Naranja Academy school year. Hey, they they hid the clipping with the uh They hid the clipping with the banister! You can't see our feet clipping the stairs. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. Crossfade. Uh, we're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea has got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Crossfade. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Yes, and we can say no? No, I'm not ready. Oh, I, I guess I am. Skill issue. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I mean, to, I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? I did know that. You told me earlier. You can try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That gets you on your way easy. <laughs> How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage? It's like a basic tip. Hey, Arvin? Insider advantage? Sheesh, should we could sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gym. It's up to Cheese whether he goes. Cheese is going to have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and him are going to be too busy visiting the layers of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. En serio? Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to cheese whether he goes, right? Grr. Oh, well, is it the hacker? Hmm? Cheese, your phone's ringing. Hey, cheese. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base. All five...
<laughs> Do you know why I'm laughing at all five of them? Take a wild guess. <laughs> and beat the squad boss there. <laughs> Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out. Oh, sorry, she's the hacker, right? Team Star's grunts might be trying to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone for you. The fire crew, the poison crew, the fighting crew, the fairy crew, the dark crew. Okay. Starfall Street. Five points, uh, almost. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. <laughs> Wait one second, who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Cheese's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Cheese to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Pneumonia? And Arvin? Is it a secret who they are? H how do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Cheese. Bye. <laughs> okay. What was that all about? Jeez, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm going to battle every single trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet the experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Okay. Uh... <laughs> You'd think it'd be displayed on my phone, right? Not just plastered on the screen blocking her face? <laughs> oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what to do, Cheese. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's got to be my, uh, my big dream of tracking down the Urban Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. I want a freaking picnic. Oh, Fate White? Agrias. Ah, what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did, did it just come out because you said sandwich? Ha ha ha. I would personally transfer a different school at this point. Jeez, I don't want to scare you, but there's a creature behind you. Agria. Gius, Gius. Hopefully not Regigigas. It seems it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Cheese? Oh! Mobility? Press the plus button to jump onto Coridon. You'll find you can get around more quickly. Okay. When you're on Coridon's back, you can press the B button to have it jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Press the plus button again to get off Coridon and walk. Okay. So we have to ride him here. Hello? Here we go. Angia. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird cyclozar. As long as you've got Coridon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea's your cloister. Okay. A run dead? No, it's fine. Um, Because the, um, the A button run is only in battle. Well, if you're going to, uh, if you're going to, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since Cheese has actually had to take out some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. <laughs> Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. Okay. I think we'll try to beat one gym, and that'll be the end for today. So I think we're gonna we're gonna go to the first gym. The treasure hunt has finally begun. The special event is held by the academy to encourage students to set it on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as you search for a treasure all your own. Can I move? Okay, so I'm... Oh, he just runs. Dude, he takes up so much of the screen. Okay, you can zoom out. Water Lily, really. welcome to Small Cheese. Enjoy the, uh, the new Fido emote. Your phone can reveal your past lives to me? Are you okay, lady? My, my, I sense great depths to your past. You must have seen much in lives gone by. I can send your Rotom phone to peer into past lives you lived. Call, I call it Rotometry. Care to try? Uh, sure. 
Ah, your past. It drifts before my eyes. I see a life you once lived in. Oh, where is this? Kanto, Galar, Sinnoh, Hisui? I'm good. I've played all these. Yes, yes, it's coming to clear focus. In this previous life, you once tread the grounds of... Kanto. Guys. I don't know if she knows, but... I'm literally in Kanto right now. That's why I can play the game early. <laughs> Let's go. Allow me to fashion your rotom phone and case. Oh, so you get phone cases. And there. The case is finished. Carry it proudly. The Pika V case. If you wish to plumb your memories for more past lives, come speak to me. I don't want a Pikachu one. What, what do I get for Hisui? Hisui, I see you braving a great adventure in the Hisui region. An odd phone gripped in your hand. Oh, it's gotta be the Arceus one, right? We get the um, arc phone case. Yeah, arc phone case. Uh, what the hell happened to that background guy? Which one? <laughs> Sino. There's a floating bag in the. What in the? <laughs> It's a ghost! <laughs> yes, yes, it's come into clearer focus! <laughs> Cryptid! Gengar, show yourself! <laughs> this game is a mess. This game is an absolute mess. Like, okay, I was planning to make a first impressions video based on my first day of gameplay. No. We have enough for a jank compilation already. I can't believe it. Don't worry, the day two fat the day two patch will fix things. We got the ball guy case. Well we're gonna use that one, right? <laughs> oh hey, we can picnic. So how do we... Is it in options? No, it's uh, customization, right? Here it is, phone case. Default case, arc phone, ball guy case, Pokétech case, Pika V case. What is this? Can I see what it looks like? I can't even see the... What's the point? What does it look like? I can't see it! Okay. Would I like to go with this outfit? I guess. I hope it looks good. I have no idea. Preview appearance? Okay. Hit Y. I hit Y. Can you tell me what the new phone case looks like? No? Great preview. <laughs> it's in my bag? I, I don't see it. So here, I'll try changing the case. Does anything change? No, right? Also, look at this. So, I'm gonna press left on the D-pad. Look how long this takes. Alright. I'm pressing left. What in the world? It's changing inside my bag? Well, that's great. I can't see it. I recommend them all. I'm not getting a single one. Alright. What did this guy say? I want to go home? Yeah, man. I, I really feel you. <laughs> Let's go. This way leads to the gyms, right? We're going to try and go to the first gym. That's the Titan Path? 
Okay, so we'll go... Is, is east the Titan path? So I guess we want to go... We want to go to the gyms. I want to go to the... I want to go to the, uh... Grass gym, though. Hang on. I want to see... What's, what's my map again? This is... Grass gym is east. That's where I'm trying to go. Ah, oh, here we go. It's Y. Pokopath Lighthouse. Can we already fly? I think we can, right? Just a ghost? What is this? What are these symbols? Are they like terror types or something? Oh, here. Okay, this is where we want to go, right? We want to get this guy. Gym Badge Grass. Um, I can't read with the... I have to... The Seymour is, is blocking the... Text? <laughs> okay, so they're telling us to go to, go to that one. Rototototo, is it the hacker again? Oh, it's Arvin. Hello, this is Cheese's phone, right? It's me, Arvin. I was a bit worried about whether or not you'd managed to set out yet. You didn't have to sign to set out east, right, after leaving the school? If so, you're not that far from the area where the Stony Cliff Titan is said to make its lair. Story said it clings to cliffs, practically becomes part of the stone, then attacks from above. Though, maybe don't be staring up overhead all the time looking for a Titan, only to go tumbling off some cliff you don't see. If that ever does happen, you can open up your map app and call yourself a flying taxi to pick you up. Some of those rocky areas are like a real maze. Try not to get lost, little buddy. And if you find a Titan, let me know. Fade to black. So apparently Japan is finally allowing gay marriage options today. Better options than the ones in this game? I don't think you can get married in this game at all. I think we're 10 years old. <laughs> Loading? Okay. Oh. My eyes. What? Look at this rock texture. It's horrendous. <laughs> well, hopefully we can find... Enjoy picnicking. Dude, this guy's vibing. I just went shopping for sandwich ingredients and bought more than I could use. Mind taking some? Sure. We can try picnicking. Um, sure. Oh, did he just heal us? Are we actually picnicking? That is one big pile of... <laughs> I know that one. Potion. Oh, Shinx, that's new. You a new kid? I, mean, I guess I've been a kid for... 10 years, and there's like a cave there? Interesting, interesting. Six pickles. Uh, we'll f we'll catch Shinx first, and then we'll fight. Uh, we'll fight that girl. Dude, the music crossfading is really awkward. We're like over in a corner. Are we okay? Level seven. Where's Coco Obama? He's like in the bush. You can't see him. We can. Oh, if we terrestrialize, we can't do it again. So we'll just. Uh... Oh, we haven't terrestrialized yet. That did nothing. Alright, so Shink's nicknames, I guess. Shinx was caught. Ooh, incinerate. I'll take it. Uh, hopefully they buffed it. 60. Yeah. It's just straight up better than uh, Ember, right? The Pokeball Shadow is wrong. The shadows in this game are horrific. Thunderfang, Dimitri. Dundafang? Okay, Dundafang. Then what a Dundafang. Hit him with a Dunda Fang. 
poor baby. How bad is the game so far? It's uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It is so bad that after the stream ends and before I go to work, I think I can actually already make a glitch compilation or like lack of polish thing. It's really bad. It is actually worse than I thought. What is this thing? It's a rookie. Worse than Sword and Shield? At the moment, yes. At the moment, yes. Uh, Rookity nicknamed, by the way. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wing attack. We probably want that, right? Worse than BDSP? From a technical standpoint, absolutely. What makes this worse than Sword and Shield? Like, Sword and Shield had some embarrassing stuff. It was mostly functional. We'll get them this time. Oh, I can't eat my berries, though. I don't know if we can do this. I get flinched. Alright, what do we name this guy? Because we're catching him. Rookie Dunn? It wasn't a Corviknight eventually, right? Wow. So the ball is bouncing. Is it supposed to just float? Why? Green unit. <laughs> Rookie doo doo. But Corviknight's pretty good. Turner's only good Pokemon design? It has levitate. Ah, <laughs> Eddie AI. Corvinut. Oh, what's the um? Yeah, I, I was, I was, Jeremy Corvin is what I was going to say, <laughs> yes. He's a British politician. How did you know that? <laughs> Are you from England? The Skarmory at home. Jeremy Corvin, we're not going to vote for Labour this time. To the boxes. <laughs> What made you come up with the Omori challenge? Um, Omori literally saying it. If you don't want to overlevel, box your Pokemon. Is this a new Pokemon? I've never seen this guy. Knockly. This is just a... It's that, uh... It's a Mario mushroom. Probably a rock type, right? Because it resisted that. Mud shot, no! Big damage. Let's throw that Pokeball. So far, we've never had a single Pokemon break out of a Pokeball. It's not, that's not really a criticism, though. Omori is a great game, though. This has nothing to do with the uh, game, Omori. <laughs> what do we name this thing? Something about salt, right? Just toad? Sodium chloride? It's a little bit too straightforward. Pixelmon? Marleo? Salty? Pretzel? Assault and battery. Rhinehat. Rhinehat is pretty salty. Pokemon Unite. Who's Omori? Um, the game director. Hard Toad. Gotcha Salt. Big McThankies from Expansies. Margarita. Something about salt, right? Twitch chat. No, Onyx! Well, it's, it's our first rock type. Name it me. Salt Bay? Jimmy Neutron. Assaulted Peanut. 
Stranger, Saltcraft. I guess Saltcraft. Master was the director. I think Omori is also one of them. Salt and vinegar. High pressure. I think we can change this later. I, I still don't know how to change our nicknames. But I'm sure there's a way. It looks like it evolves, I guess. Ah. It's really hard to avoid running into certain Pokemon. Sea salt ice cream. Cool light ice cream. Uh, we should... It's not the same as uh, Arceus where you can do it in the menu? Yeah, you can't. As far as I can tell. I tried to do it. Nothing to change nicknames. M. Oh, this game is so ugly. What? Hey, it's Makuhita. I like Makuhita. And that looks like a terror raid, right? What is this? That's a Pokemon? It's a Rookity. You can catch Makuhita. Might have thick fat. Probably does, given how little I did. What should we name Makuhita? Wait until you see the caves. I've seen one cave. Focus energy. This guy's getting pumped. Thick boy. Uh, Pokeball's not quite on the ground. M. Uh, well, it does start with an M, I guess. Sumo. A, a little bit boring. Smelling salts. We gotta combo it with the uh, the salt Pokemon we just got, right? Smelling salts. Ah, we can't get the yes. It's fine. Smell them. Big, thick. I guess we can go see that cave, right? Can we just drop down here? We can't. Can we do it if we're on Coridon? We can. Oh. Look at that grass. I am the lord of the forest. Nice poppin. <laughs> Mary poppins. Uh, this cave is kind of okay. What a cave. Rookity. I thought during this challenge you get experience with as many mods as possible. Yes. That is why we're doing it. Bro, we're the lord of the forest. The grass sprouts where we walk. <laughs> hey, this is a TM. Ooh, water pulse. That could be useful. Fresh water. Just lying under a cliff. Super potion. Are the wheels just for show? Uh, at the moment, yeah. They don't actually do anything. Maybe we get a new form later? TMs are back to consumable. I guess you can also, like, craft them now, so that's why. I'm not a huge fan of that. Dude, this poppin' is horrendous. So this is like a Terra raid den? Can we, we can jump, right? We can. Oh. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Oh, almost? No. We got him. I think we can do this, right? We can save just in case. Auto heal? Yeah, 
<laughs> Good job, Koridon. Who wants a sandwich? Are there any positive aspects about this game so far? There's pretty good Pokemon variety. That's about the best I can say. In Terra, we balance and work together with other trainers to battle powerful Terra Pokemon. So I only get to use one of my Pokemon, right? Okay. It's a Combi. I guess we'll try one of these, right? Oh, help has arrived. Now you've got a full party to raid with. It's even worse than Xenoblade on the Wii? Absolutely. Xenoblade on the Wii was way better than this. Is this worse than Arceus? So far, yeah. Oh. Smooth your eyes. Ah. The rules of Terra Raid Battles. In a Terra Raid Battle, you'll try to defeat a Terra Pokemon within the time limit. If your Pokemon is knocked out, it'll be revived after a while, but you'll also take a time penalty to try to avoid letting your Pokemon faint if you can. You can also perform a special action in Terra Raid Battles, cheering by cheering for your side. You can do things like boosting the stats of the Pokemon on your side or helping them recover their health. You can perform cheers three times per battle. What's my opinion of this game? It's ass. <laughs> it's it's really bad so far. Oh, struggle bug. Oh, it's AOE. So this guy... Oh, right, that did nothing. Is this real time? Oh my god, it's like a Pokemon Go raid. We got him. Catch or don't catch? Well, I guess I'll catch. Interesting. So, actually, keep this in mind. This lets us... Catch Terra Pokemon. In only A. We can actually catch them, because we just beat them, and then we can mash A to catch them. That's really good. That's huge. That opens up our options so much. Wow, uh, that's a lot of rewards. You're not liking it? Not so far. Quality of life to A button challenge? To make up for removing set mode, I guess. Fade to white? My eyes. Would you like to give Combi a nickname? I guess so. They remove set mode? Yeah, it's gone. Be worse, be afraid. <laughs> be afraid. How about only only bees, right? It has to be that. B. Which Pokemon games actually don't work with the A button challenge? I'm not sure. Gen 5 is close to being impossible, because you're forced to catch the Legendary, but there is a way around that. Oh, we're supposed to fight a trainer, that's right. I don't want to blame the devs, it's not their fault. They were definitely rushed. Is this a Pokemon? No, it's just a shiny. Wanted to fight this guy, right? Hey, new kid! I know what's up around here. Let me take a look at your Pokemon for you. You were challenged by Martina the student. If you want Combi Cheese, what are you doing? It evolves. What do you mean? Arrokuda! Lights, bro. Arrokuda's made of paper, right? Bro, Coco Bomb is so slow. Don't, don't water with me, bro. That's 
that's fine. What was the point of removing set mode? I don't know. Even red and blue had set mode. I don't know why they removed it. That's between good? That's between is pretty bad. <laughs> Do I like Typhlosion? It's okay. Check out this shadow, by the way. Okay, that was legit hilarious. What was? Hey, it's a spoink. Not a huge spoink fan. Oh, is this a new Pokemon? No, it's that mouse thing. Bro, what? The minimap feels like it's slow? Yeah, they removed set mode. I, I don't know why. I guess we'll catch a spoink. So, spoink nicknames? Bro, Coco Bama is dirt slow. This man never goes first. We'll incinerate one more time, then we'll throw a Pokeball. Is it Onyx in? I have no idea. Big damage. Hamlet? Go with Hamlet. Got him. Spoinked. Right now it's Hamlet. Meatball sub. Spork. I've seen there's no sign of Onyx. Konnichiwa, how's it going? It's not going well, my friend. <laughs> it is not going well. Oh, I don't want to add it to my partner. Oh, if it's nighttime, let's go get a... Uh... Well, let's test out the fly animation. Let's go get that, um... Ghastly. I think it was around here, right? Let's see what flying looks like. Oh. Okay. I guess that's what flying looks like. <laughs> oh, can you deactivate manual boxing? Great game, right? Yeah, I love it. Does this one have a stray pixel? Why is Umbreon so bad? I don't know. Umbreon's not even here. Oh, I can't move while the screen is up. Oh, you can see what Pokemon are in the area. That's interesting. The Evolutions actually made it? Oh, okay. Umbreon got buffed this gen? Did it? I... Can't imagine what buff would actually make it usable. One more challenge is to box your whole team so only one gets experience, right? That's what he actually said. But how we do it is we replace our entire team after each gym. Okay, so these are terror raids. I think... This was where Ghastly was, right? It was around this area. And there were some ruins over here. Let's be honest, the evolutions will never be left out of a dex. They were they were out of some of them. Which was crazy. Oh. Umbreon got a buff in the form of Calm Mind. Sounds horrendous to me. This game's visual fil- Oh. We got him. Oh, it's level four. We're gonna kill this if we attack it. We're just gonna throw a ball. Ball? So it looks like X is the only way to throw a ball. Oh. 
Wow, we caught it. So, I'm not crazy, right? In Arceus Legends, when they were flying Pokemon and you hit them with a Pokeball, the ball falls to the ground, right? Why in the world does the ball just levitate? What do we name this thing? Balls. <laughs> Small ghost. Casper. Agatha? Just name it Agatha. Queen Elizabeth. Uh-oh. Cursed. Gasser. Gaslighting. Fart. Small ball. Charles Gasly. Gaston? Okay. Oh, Gaston, help us. <laughs> Drowsy and Ghastly. Nobody haunts like Gaston. We never fought this guy. Why are you just standing out here in the middle of a field, bro? I can't stop wondering what's behind that weird door or later cover, whatever it was. Gaston song, please? I would, but it's 5 a.m. here. I can't. Otherwise, I would do it. Axel? Where are the other two? No triple Axel in this game? Squawkabilly. <laughs> That's pretty cute. It's like Elvis. That's cool. I was going to say we're really slow, but obviously, it attacked us. Ooh, Nuzzle. Oh, that's probably good, because it's a physical attacker, right? We can Nuzzle. Nuzzle is 20. Whenever you scratch. Mud Shot. Ooh, that's good, right? Is Wake Up gonna evolve? Did it hit level 16? We're never using this. Axel the student. I've got it memorized. Just what could be behind that? Whoa, wait, I lost? Oh. Evolving? We get a second term as Coco Obama. <laughs> what? This is so cute, Crocolore. Still just a pure fire type, that's unfortunate. The combination of Crocolor's fire energy and overflowing vitality has caused an egg-shaped fireball to appear on the Pokemon's head. What? Ole. <laughs> this is cute. So if it evolves into... So if it terrestrializes, it gets two hats? <laughs> Let's look at these stats. Thirty-four special attack, so it's definitely a special attacker. Really slow. So can we get in the water? No. <laughs> we cannot. Okay, so let's try and go to. Can I zoom out here? I want to go here, right? Can I... What? Stop zooming out, bro. What is this? Okay. It's it's really hard to... control this map. Where am I? I'm down here, right? I want to go here. Can 
Can I fly here? Set as destination. Where's the grass gym? I'm like so lost. I can rotate the map? Oh. That's really confusing. What? Oh, it's inverted. <laughs> what? Here's where I want to go. Why does the map rotate? Flying cutscene. Oh, this guy's got a Pikachu. Does Picnicking heal us? Let's see, I've got about another hour. I don't know if we can actually reach the gym in that time. Okay, this is where... Oh, hey, that's a, uh... Gimme Ghoul coin. Makuhita. Pinkies are basically just camping? Okay. Oh, this is a, uh... Treasure hunter, I guess? Hey, yeah, I'll tell you about this. It was all sparkly and all twinkly. Backpacker sat... Oh, my... This man has not showered in weeks. <laughs> Hey, Starly, that's a good Pokemon. Picnic anyway? Oh, we're gonna picnic sure. Oh, here we go. We're gonna fry this guy. Cool. Goodbye. What a battle. <laughs> average per average Pokemon player. Now we're all bruisy and loosey. Oh, okay. I guess I'll set the grass gym as a destination on my map. It's all the way over there. I don't know if we're going to make it. Why is the... Is it just me or is the FPS of the map different? Like, the map stutters. These trainers are also absolutely pathetic. Shinx. These trainers don't do anything. They just stand there. What is this? Dun 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 dun. That's the sound of healing up of the Pokemon Center. Okay, so dun dun da da dun. There we go. So what trainer class is this guy? This girl, Alicia? She, Alicia's big. I'm sorry, Alicia. Please have mercy. I didn't mean it, Alicia. <laughs> I guess I better go ask for another round of dun 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 dun. That's a lot of money. And here's the Pokemon Center. Ah, okay, so after we beat enough trainers, then we can actually get a an item. Okay. Yeah. The healing animation takes a long time. She has low F Oh, now her fingers are in okay FPS. Earlier they were bad. The crossfade. Handy functions to remember. Use emote. So we can emote? We can try emoting. Oh, we're gonna call. Hey, cheese. 
So from what I can gather, Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. I had to look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something? Nah, that's impossible! I don't think it'd be hiding anywhere that tricky, so don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search it out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look if you're feeling stumped. It's pretty handy. Okay. Well, I'm not trying to look for the Titan right now. I'm trying to find the j grass gym, so that's where we're trying to go. Not that many new Pokemon in this area. It was just the... Just the rock, right? Makuhita sweat. Gross. Battle me for I am mighty. Why is there a businessman standing in the middle of the desert? What? Severino the office worker? Get back to the office, bro. Got a Jigglypuff. I'm not scared. Business as usual. This thing's level 17. And he has two Pokemon. Stockpile. Incinerates definitely our strongest Pokemon. Or strongest move, so I think we're just gonna incinerate again. Is it gonna be cool on the side? Okay. Wow, stockpile sucks. <laughs> I guess we'll bite. Just for the flinch chance, because we know that it's not a kill anyway. Ah, darn. I'm not a huge fan of the music so far, and I usually am. Skiddo, hey, we beat that. I'd like to keep my current Pokemon. Okay, so it's an extra B press after every Pokemon we knock out. Since we can't use set. We're so slow. It has leftovers? <laughs> what? Oh, we forgot to equip our wise glasses. We should do that. Music is man, which is usually a highlight? Yeah, I've been really disappointed by the music so far. Faint. Looks like Severino the office worker is gonna need some severance. My might and my items meant nothing in the face of a mighty trainer like you. Oh, so that's why he's supposed to actually have good items, I see. We can, oh, that's a new Pokemon. Can equip an item. We have wise glasses, I think. We bought some, so here we go. Swift feather, what does this do? Oh. We can catch this. This is a new Pokemon, right? It's probably a rock type. I guess. We can paralyze it with small me? Dude, what's the delay? What's that sound? And it's faster- oh my, annihilated. <laughs> Entombed. Just the, the rain just clips through the ground? Oh, some of it does. Uh, double kick will pro- Oh, we can look at the double kick animation. Heck him. Yeah, that's a kick. These sounds are crazy. Oh, we can catch this guy, so what do we name this thing? Off. Nice floating Pokeballs. Cloth. 
clawful. Okay. Focus energy. Hell no. Lobster? It's just a pure rock type. Okay. Clawful. Easy to nickname. Just add a UL. Clawful. Oh my god, this thing's clawful. It might not be that bad, though. How about Yoma? Oh, because it's like a lobster lord. Hey. Rowl at night, stop. Alright, in before it evolves into Clawful. This game lags a lot for some reason. I wonder what that reason is. Shiki, welcome back. <laughs> Did you buy this game? Uh, if we picnic, does that restore our health? I'd like to heal my Pokemon. I hope Fido evolves. So Fido still doesn't have any fairy moves it can use. It's like level 14. If you press the ZL button, you can lock onto nearby Pokemon. Okay. So ZL. How's your filthy fire type Pokemon? It reached the second form. I really like it. So far. I'm sad and we're not going to be able to see its final form since it's going to get boxed. Oh, it's, uh... Hey! It's Stantler. Is it better than Sword and Shield? Uh... I don't know if I'd say that. Oh, it's level 17, I see. Gnosis. This game will indeed make me cave and buy a Switch. As someone who hasn't played Pokemon in years, I want it. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> You're just keeping the card and not use it? That's true. Is it possible to evolve and weirder in this? I don't know. I assume so, right? Oh, and the rain just stops? What happened to the rain? <laughs> what? Hypnosis? Oh, we're up? That was a crit, okay. Yeah, use strong style side shield bash to evolve it. Bro, they can't even make the Pokeballs stay on the ground? Astonishing. them before getting into a battle, like in Legends Arceus? No, you can't. You have to actually fight them. This thing is tough to catch. Get the ball, bro. Ugh. Are you having fun with the game or the stream or neither? I'm definitely having fun with the stream. I think if I was playing this on my own, I probably would not be having a lot of... Oh my goodness. Stomped? Oh, big damage. I guess we'll use the Great Ball. Wow, hot photos of her sister? Not even herself. What did your sister ever do to you? You can't just share hot photos of your sister. Thank you. Why are there so many bots? There's always a lot of bots. 
Incendiary should be good. Yeah, but um, we've been sand attacked like five times. Bro, why is Stantler so hard to catch? I just have Elon Musk by YouTube. He'll definitely fix the boss. Yeah. My goodness, what? Is there a reason for Coco Obama? Foy Coco Obama, bro. Let me be clear. Wow, big levels. Is Patreon cost something? I'm sorry, what does that mean? Baby doll eyes is useless. We don't need this. What do we name this thing? Stanley, I guess. That's what we named him in Arceus. He didn't do a lot of fighting. And I guess he's eligible, so we have to... Stantler here, I... <laughs> We have to go ahead and put it in a special box, because he is eligible for Johto's Finest, right? Because he's a Gen 2 Evo. I mean, do I need to pay for Patreon? Yes. Sorry. Um, the whole point of Patreon is that it's a, it's a way to donate money to creators, so unfortunately, yes, uh, you do have to pay. Is the bad news, but the good news is... I guess there really isn't any good news. You don't really get much from it. <laughs> But I would appreciate it. I guess the big thing is your name gets to be in some videos in the credits. And sometimes there are special things for Patreons. Like sometimes videos are available like one or two days earlier. Uh, and sometimes you can like be in videos in certain ways. Imagine paying for free videos. I mean, you don't have to. Hey, Litleo. How's the game so far? Horrendous. <laughs> Horrendous. Like, as a Pokemon game, it's okay, right? I mean, it's got the Pokemon formula, but, like, it is a technical disaster. Free. The Cheeseman has put in real effort for videos. I mean, you don't have to become a patron, of course. I I'm never going to paywall anything. Uh, but I, I, I would really appreciate if you evolved into a mighty Patreon, because it, it does... It gives me a number I can look at and know that I'll be making that much money that month. Which helps me when I try to justify, like, buying special props or things to put in the videos. How far through are we? We still haven't reached the first gym. I'm a YouTube Premium Cigar, so I hope it gives you more money. It does. Uh, views from YouTube Premium viewers pay more than views from regular views. So, uh, regular viewers, so it does help. Yeah, they remove set mode. You can't play in set mode in this game. You can still emulate it by, you know, just declining the switch. But they will always ask you every single time, and there's nothing you can do about it. Can we go down this cliff if, we, if we're if we on Koraidon? Yes. But we can't jump off on our own. Now the music changes so it's like heroic, skiddo. The environments look barren, I agree. Why does the music change between those two areas? Is it Koraidon that changes the music? Yes, it is. Area 3, what an inspiring name. You should have seen Area 1. Now that was something special. In the future, I will uh, Patreon, but for now, I have to buy the Nintendo Switch OLED. Yeah, no no pressure or anything. Um, 
In fact, if you want to get if you want to spend money on something that actually does barely do something, consider becoming a channel member. Uh, if you become a channel member, you'll get emotes. And I made I made some special emotes for this. So currently, if you're a channel member, you can use all the oh, it's done spars. We gotta get them. Wait, what? <laughs> Ghost. Dunsparce, where'd you go? No. <laughs> Truly Johto's finest. Tsuchinoko, not real. He's gone. Oh, hey, Growlithe is in this. I mean, whatever our Johto's finest team is... He goes in for sure. Dunsparce, right? We have to. Is this a new Pokemon? What is this lag? Nimble. Nuzzle him. He swing Growlithe or normal Growlithe? I think it's a normal Growlithe. Ah, budget Onyx. Somebody might gift you a membership. That's one way you can get a membership. If you have your, um... If you have gifts enabled, you might be able to receive a membership if somebody gifts some. And, uh, if you join the Discord, link in the description, uh, you'll find all of the emotes there. Hey, we got him. So, what's this thing called? Nimble? And it's a bug, I'm guessing. Nimble Claw. It is a bug. Grasshopper Pokemon. What do we name this thing? It's a grasshopper. Hmm. Nimble? Jiminy? Uh, Jiminy, I guess. Oh, no. We have to name him Hop. It's... <laughs> Because we already have how, right? So here's Hop. <laughs> Hop, you look different. Did you lose weight? <laughs> Growlithe, I guess we could catch. I think, because I am getting short on time here. I only have 30 more minutes. I don't know if I can actually make it to the gym. So what we might do is... Well, actually, we're pretty close to the gym, right? Do you guys want to do the gym today, or should we start with the gym next time? Do the gym, you have time? Okay, we'll do the gym. You want to battle? Oh, this is, a, this, this is like a preschooler. This is a, such a small child. Amaya the student? I guess she's a student. She's so small. Small me is terrible. God, we do like three damage. We're getting kissed? I want to hear the gym music? Okay, the gym will be the last thing we do. Oh, we can kick this thing. Is it possible Porter send out Pokemon from the old DS game still? I think so. Well, Pokemon... No, Pokemon Bank is discontinued, right? The gym battle is actually dynamic? I'm pretty excited for that. Oh, I rose, raised its defense. I didn't see what move it used, but it's about to get kicked. Or pecked. Peck him. Okay, we didn't even need both hits. The Pokemon was hit one time. Dude, the text is so slow. A huge experience from that. You battle really good. Dude, Fl Flamingo might be a might be an S tier Pokemon. We're gonna do the tier list right after we finish this playthrough. No, I set the tech speed to fast. It's the, one of the first things I did. Oh, Flamenco, hey, cool. Oh, Rock Rockabilly. You battle really good, thank you. What a fan. 
Uh, what do we name this thing? Or Squawkabilly. He took so much damage, what? Oh, Prometheus, welcome to Small G's. Enjoy the premium emotes. Maybe, uh, maybe the other members can offer you a sandwich. Use, use the sandwich emote. Hey, Cheese, have you considered using the truffle expansion that Lud Ludwig made? Oh, I've heard of that. Does that change anything for you guys, though? You would have to download it as well, right? Ah, Torment, we can't Thundershock again. Let's quick attack him. Mimic? Go ahead, bro. So what do we name this thing? He's got FE4 hair. When's the next room? It's gonna be tomorrow. I'll put- oh, we're dead. Josuke? Okay, probably Josuke is what we'll do. Choose next Pokemon to run. Alright, Fido. At least it's not Fire Emblem Engage hair. Ah, uh, it must be a normal flying type. Hmm, bite. Big damage. We'll name him Josuke. Toothpaste hair is so... Dude, this looks terrible. <laughs> what? Since when do... When do Pokeballs levitate? Have I played Doom Eternal? I have not. Normal flying. How's the prompt working for playing with some... Why does the music stop? Oh, it doesn't. Josuke? Why spell it like that? <laughs> Gengar lost Levitate and yet Pokeballs can now do it? Does this game not have a normal day and night cycle? I think it does because the time keeps changing. I'll buy channel membership tomorrow. I look forward to it. Naming <laughs> Kuwabata? Is this one the new Star Raptor? It has Intimidate? I think Starly is in this game. Is this a Pokemon? No, it's just a Rookie D. Oh, it's just a bird. What is this? These are Squawkabillies and a Flamenco. We are chugging. Why so many birds? I don't know. Who would you want to play this game? I'm not sure. Okay, so this Nurse Joyce's fingers are fine. No, at the end she starts slowing down. Use, use the B button to crouch. If you get close to Pokemon without noticing you and throw a ball using the R button, you can catch it off guard. Do we to attack first? Okay. So we should be doing that. And the minimap just pops back up into existence. Oh, here's the gym. Nice windmill. <laughs> My goodness, the state of this game. I'm guessing we can't go into, into, into any buildings here, right? Improvements from Legends Arceus. Oh, we get a nice menu. <laughs> I can't believe this. Our can-do attitude is sure to leave you f feeling... Oh, my God. Yes, I actually, I would like to buy something. I would like to buy a pickle. One single pickle chip, please. Yes, one helping of pickle. I'll take it. Thank you so much what I came to your shop just to buy. Uh, one pickle chip, thanks. <laughs> Can't go in here. Welcome. Hola, for fresh produce. I don't need these. Ugh. Oh. There, so far, there have been two interiors. You can go inside the sandwich shop and the hair salon. The 
the FPS, Coco Bomber to the front. I'm really surprised the spider hasn't evolved yet. You'd think it would by level 16, right? Cheese, genuine question. Top three favorite things about this game or like the earth? Try the picnic. Yeah, I think the picnic feature will be the last thing we do. Hey, the windmill looks fine. We'll do the gym, we'll do a picnic, and that'll be the end. In the game, not in general. Obviously? Well, it wasn't obvious. Uh, top three things about the game. I like a lot of the new Pokemon designs. Sure. I'm a fan of those. Um, I, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> I really can't. Normally, I, I I assumed the music would be really good, because Pokemon games always have really good music, and this time I'm really not feeling it so far. I guess I'll say that the tutorials haven't felt excessive. That's also nice. Where is the gym? Sorry, man, I wrote my follow-up point before you actually read it. You're right, it wasn't obvious. Timing-wise, man, it's it, it snarky, which it isn't. I'm sorry. I was also snarky to you. I shouldn't have been. Let's apologizing together with us. Is this a named character? It's just like an artist. Hmm, yes, highly conceptual, accentuated with contrasting modalities. Not that an amateur would pick up on all that. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Do you get to the Cloud District often? No, of course you don't. <laughs> so, how do we fight the gym leader? Ah, okay. I set it as a destination, so I guess I have to go to the destination. Can I... Can I... Hello? Okay. Follow the map marker over here. Ah, there we go, up there, I see. I wonder if the 15 FPS Sun Floor is still in the game. They were fine in the Japanese version of the trailer, so I hope they fixed it. I guess we'll save? Why are these kids standing so far apart? Brassius is unbelievable. That's the gym leader, right? Bro, even the loading screen is chugging. Oh, hey, cheese. Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Bold and brashes. <laughs> Bold and brash. Before you can battle a gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Interesting. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Okay. Ah, I'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. Okay, bye. Should we save? Bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash. Uh, we're probably fine at our current level, right? Welcome to the Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Cheese, yes? Great. Now in order to face gym leader Brassius, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Art. Artisan Gym, that means completing the game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists, all like art artisan. The artwork made by people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embodies these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the Sunflora located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up ten of them and bring them to the Sunflora Lawn and you'll pass the test. I'll rush to the Sunflora Lawn's location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staffer there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out there and have fun. Okay. So 
so we have a marker. Here it is. I guess I have to actually talk to the lady, right? Hi there! I look after the Artisan Gym's Sunflora. I hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Flora! Sounds like Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found 10, sun 10 Sunflora, please bring them back here to the Sunflora lawn. That's all for me now. Good luck out there. Alright, well... Kind of hard to read this. Okay, so we just have to find Sunflora. So nice. Well, here's one. We found a Sunflora. I hate these, like, hide-and-seek missions. They're never any fun. Are there only ten, or... Do we just have to find ten out of however many are hidden? <laughs> Don't mention kill a kill. We've entered Sonic 3D Blast Zone. Dude, the chugging makes this really hard to... Your fate will be decided by the Sunfloor Council. I'd wish you good luck, but my master would Oko a Kyogre and Crowdon in Sun if I... Oh, hey, we found one. Bro, wait, so every Sunfloor that follows us increases the chug, right? Why is there only one following us? Don't we have two? I can't go up this slope? You're kidding me. Okay, I can. Here's one. Alright, we got three. There's one. Looks tough. This is uh, not my idea of a fun challenge. Ugh. Get out of the Oh, they have collision? Those hedges look brutal. And dude, this is my worst nightmare. Look at all this grass. At least the Wulu chasing was fast. Ah, oh, there's one. I can see one behind there. This is actually the hedge acid from over the hedge. Ah, oh, this is actually just a statue. I just looked like FF14 grapes. Okay, there's definitely more than. Uh, can we ride Crydon? Oh, we can. And it kills the FPS of the Sunflores. <laughs> hey, Poison Tail, that's terrible. Oh my god, I can't. Why did they give the Sunflores collision? Get out of the way! On florist. Oh, I can't believe this. My eyes. Bro, these sun floors are teleporting everywhere. FPS stands for frames per sun floor. <laughs> Can I, can I jump over here? Uh, no. Oh, I can. Cool. Two more, and then we're done with this.
<laughs> six frames per sunflora will get to 60 soon. <laughs> we just need one more. Scarlet Violet seem like a mid game so far. What is I, I, all these zoomers? What does mid mean? Does that mean mediocre or does it mean bad? Holy moly. Okay, we found all ten. Mediocre? I wouldn't call this mediocre. Look at this. Look at this. Dude, we gotta get the f the full experience with the, the windmill in the background, right? What a disaster. <laughs> Please, no. I, I don't want to leave the town. Bro, I, f I feel like you guys aren't the one holding the control stick. I feel like I'm moving through molasses. The game is so choppy. This, this is, without a doubt, the worst technical state I have ever seen a major release in. It's better than Rune Factory 5, but Rune Factory 5 is like a, a nobody franchise nobody cares about. This is the highest grossing media franchise of all time. This is ridiculous. Gym test. I passed. Thanks. I guess we can fight the gym leader at least. Well done on fighting all these sunflower. You passed the gym test with flying colors. Now please head back to the lobby at the Artrazon gym and report your results. You've got Rune Factory 5? I'm sorry to hear that. The test was managing to play through the lag? Yikes. Is there a day one patch that wasn't downloaded? This is a digital copy. That means you've cleared the gym test. Congratulations. But now, you've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader Brassius, the verdant virtuoso? Yeah, sure. Do we warp there, or do we have to actually walk there? Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Okay. We warp there. Bro, the loading screen lags. The loading screen lags. <laughs> and also takes forever. Hello? Okay. Greetings, challenger. This is the guy that looks like Hubert, right? It's literally Hubert. He's had enough of Pokemon. He's had enough of Fire Emblem. He decided to become a gardener. You did well to come this far. I am Brashius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. <laughs> Normally I'd say it's dangerous to ride on a windmill, but with how slow this one's going, he's probably fine. The perception you displayed in fighting Sunflower was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? Magnificent? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. This man looks exactly like... Hubert. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. <laughs> but enough talk, have at you. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. And this is the start of the gym theme, I guess. I trust that you are ready. It is time for our masterpiece to take shape. I wonder what level this Pokemon are. Gym Leader Brashes. I, I like his design, though. Petlil. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Art is creation and destruction. Struggle, else your defeat will nourish my Pokemon. Level 16. We'll use the, um... We'll, we'll, use, we'll Terra as our last thing. So we'll start with uh, Tarantula and see how this works. I'm hoping this music changes later. 
Mega Drain. I'm not worried. We're gonna struggle. Is this still the first gym? Yes, this is the first gym. Struggle. Yeah. Struggle. Is this the... Uh, certainly this changes as we defeat his Pokemon, right? By the way, I'm, I'm just going to use a potion here. I know we're cheating, but I wanted to send this thing out first anyway. So he only has three Pokemon. Certainly... I I'm guessing that the song changes as we defeat his Pokemon. That has to be the case, right? Get him. They hired Toby Fox. I don't think that's an insult. Important cheese. Only fast. Oh, we got crit. Bro, is this thing going to lose to the pet little? Oh, we got him. We'll go ahead and use the switch feature because we want we want to do some one v ones, right? That's what we did in the um, the original uh, Omori's challenge. Oh, dig! Yeah, that'll probably be useful. Growl! I'll never use that. Smoliv! Oh, I love Smoliv. Switch Pokemon. I guess uh, we're gonna end it with a Terra from Coco Obama. So, uh, we'll, we'll use our 500 BST Route 1 Pokemon. Small Oak. Okay, now there's, like, cheering. Okay, it, it's a little bit different, right? Wing attack. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Okay, okay. It, it does ramp up. Covered. That's special, right? No, it's physical, so we don't need tackle. This is literally just the flamingo. So the widow. Oh. I'm guessing it's Terra Grass, so if we Terra Fire, we're gonna get him, don't worry. It has to be Terra Grass, like, there's no way it's not. This has promise, yes! Let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. And we're gonna Terra Fire. We haven't terra this uh, game yet game at all, so here we go. R? It still has rock throw? Don't fall for the super effective swindle, bro. How are you feeling? Are you ready? Come on, we can get this guy. I hope you can switch this- I hope you can skip this animation later. <laughs> it's really long. Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I'll call it Truly Wudo. Okay. Finally, his dream. Oh, the music changes on the Terra, okay.
Oh, so they kept the worst part of the Gen 8 battle theme. <laughs> Trailblaze! Whoa! What what type is that? Grass. Oh, but his speed rose? They literally just add the worst part of the Gen 8 battle theme. Oh, that's really disappointing. Oh no, not Rock Throw. Oh. I guess we're okay. Goodbye. Guess what? We defeated a grass type gym. <laughs> Avant garde! <laughs> At least his animations are really fun. My man is molding. Time to box everything. Yep, we'll have a celebratory picnic and that's the end. Oh, what artistic tactics you employ! Lady Edelgard! The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed, if we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in the world could be labeled as such. If you have the power, small, small grasses in Chad. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Party picnic after each gym? Oh, hey! Well, it, it makes sense that this is a still image. No criticism here. If you possess one gym badge, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 25, and those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. Ah, okay. So we couldn't catch Pokemon that were level 25 before this. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would also like to offer this, a favorite of mine. One TM for Trail Bays. I'm guessing we can now make them. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing as if drawn from a bottomless well. I'll begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Alright, so that's it for our current team. They're gone. Once we finish loading... <laughs> oh, we're gonna call. Is it the hacker? Oh, it's Nimona. Hey, hey, Cheese! Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How'd it go at the gym, by the way? I passed. Yes! Haha! <laughs> I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats! I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, passed me. Hey, Koridon! Uh, I'm training hard, too, by the way. Day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm going to want a battle if we run into each other. Is this still the first gym? Yes. <laughs> it is. Such huge. Much big. Alright, so we'll, we'll do a picnic and that'll be the end. Are you changing your team just after the gyms or after the Titans and Team Star 2? I'm thinking just after the gyms. There was an easier gym that would arguably be first? Really? But we were like on level for this gym. Wait, this was the second gym? What was the first? <laughs> but this was easy. The actual first gym is the one that left path? Uh, whoops. <laughs> I thought this was the first one. Uh-oh. Well, open world game. Alright, let's have a picnic and that'll be the end. And probably before we go to the, um, bug gym, we're gonna go ahead and do, like, a titan and, like, a boss or something and catch a bunch of Pokemon. So let's see, let's go ahead and, uh, 
Well, this is every Pokemon we've caught so far. I guess this is our crew for... For Gym 1. We got Coco Bama, we got Small Me, Doge, Harambe, Tarantula. We didn't nickname this guy, and, and Kevin. <laughs> Alright, farewell picnic. Uh, not here, I guess. So, does it never use its wheels? Can we picnic here? Wait, did the picnic start? Oh, okay. I thought it would be a separate guide. You can enjoy picnics together with the Pokemon in your party. If you're playing in a group with friends through the Union Circle, you can also have picnics with friends. You won't be able to set up a picnic table in the middle of town, or where there isn't enough space to get everything out, or on inclines, where things might go sliding off your table. Look for wide open level spots outside of towns where you want to picnic. Oh, well, um, here's our picnic, I guess. Alright. Well, thank you, small, uh... Only Miraidon uses its wheels. That's really weird. So, of the... Oh! Washing your Pokémon? Oh, we'll restore their HP. Okay. A. We have a graphic for this, right? Make no mistake, Fido. You little fuck. <laughs> Not really sure what the point of that is. Soggy bread. <laughs> So we we have to pick a we have to pick a, an MVP from each team. I assume everybody is okay with just Fue Coco as the MVP, right? I mean, there really wasn't much fighting to do, and Fue Coco did most of it. Why are we crouching? Yeah. I clipped out for a while. How's the game? Horrendous. <laughs> it's, it's bad. How do I make a sandwich? Let's make a sandwich. How to make sandwiches? Try making a delicious sandwich by piling your favorite ingredients up on sliced bread. If you're picnicking with friends, you can take part in sandwich prep together as well. The sandwich ingredients the sandwich picks... Oh, the, um, toothpicks. You need to put together a great sandwich. It can be bought at various shops around town and in city. Stock up on your favorite ingredients and picks and see what you can create. Okay? In recipe mode, ingredients are selected for you. All you have to do is skillfully arrange them on the bread to make the sandwich in the recipe. But if you drop an ingredient and don't get everything the recipe calls for, you may end up making something different. Okay? Dig into a nice meal at a restaurant or picnic, and you and your Pokemon gain meal powers. Many meal powers have an associated type, meaning they'll only affect Pokemon of that type. The effects of a meal power will be impacted by what's in a given dish. Oh my, there's so many. So egg power, more likely to find Pokemon eggs. Catching power, more likely catches will succeed. Experience point power, more experience points. Item drop power, more materials found after battle. Raid power, more rewards from terror battles. Tidal power, more likely to find Pokemon with titles. I'm not sure what that means. Sparkling power, more likely to find shiny Pokemon. Hey, Humungo power, more likely to find large Pokemon. Teensy power, more likely to find small Pokemon. Encounter power, more likely to find certain types. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's make a pickle sandwich. <laughs> We, we did go through all that trouble to buy a pickle. It's going to be great. So we have to actually assemble this? This pick flies a red flag that ends in an air that lends an arid adventure. The flag itself is made of cardstock, so it'll fly proudly even with no wind. Okay. That's oil, I guess. Pile on the ingredients. I'm timed. I, I have a 10 minute time limit. Do you think we can do it? Let's space these correctly. Here we go. There we go. Put the bread on top. We gotta be careful not to mess this up. This is the saddest sandwich I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> it's three pickle chips between two slices of bread. Well, hopefully we get a cool eating animation, right? Because the, uh... 
The curry animations were some of the best parts of Sword and Shield. Do I have to press A? Nothing's happening. I think I have to press A, right? I pressed A. Okay. So, do we get to eat the sandwich? What? How much was this game? What a great game. Well, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> I think I've had enough for today. Oh, I'd rather eat three pickle slices between two pieces of bread than play any more of this for today. I'm done. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a great game. franchise is in trouble guys <laughs> don't worry guys the uh, the day two patch will fix it well that's it for today <laughs> oh my goodness thanks thanks Coco Obama Uh, hide, pack up, and go. Oh, we got XP? I guess from... Yikes. We'll end with the, uh, the windmill in the background. Well, um, thanks everybody for joining me for this Japanese midnight release stream. I hope you enjoyed the experience of experiencing the game together with us. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say I'm really, really worried about this game. It's, uh, it's not good so far, is what I'll say. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a compilation of uh, all the bugs and, like, glitches that we found so far and, like, all the wacky, terrible-looking stuff. Uh, anybody have any, uh, suggestions on what to call the video? I guess I'll say the, uh, right now the working title is going to be... Pokemon Scarlet and Violet need a day two patch. <laughs> Next gen Pokemon. Pokemon Scarred Violet. More broken than Sword and Shield, Scarl and Violet, Day One Jank. A game more bo broken than Pokemon Green. <laughs> Yikes. This is really bad. I love this game, I'm glad you do. Yikes. Uh, I'm really worried, guys, but I, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, uh, episode 2 will be at the normal time that I do, so it's 7 a.m. for me, and I think it's 5 p.m. East Coast U.S., and I think 10 p.m. in London, I think. Uh, but no, thank you everybody for, um, for coming by. I hope you had a good time. Uh, this, uh, thing is really choking me, so... Ugh. What do you think of the game, Fui Coco? Uh huh. Uh, yeah. I hear you. Well, maybe put this in the video. All right, Fui Coco. What, Mr. Fui Coco? What do you think of the game? Uh huh. All right. He says that we've got to tear it all down. Yikes. <laughs> Alright, I've got uh, I've got three hours to edit this before I have to go to work, so it's not gonna be 
Not gonna be a lot of edits, it's probably just gonna be the, uh... Best of. <laughs> um, so actually, I, I do have a favor to ask of all of you guys. Um, if you have some mo- if you have some time... After this, uh, when I end the stream, if you remember my Discord, link in the description, uh, what would really help me out is if you could go through the VOD and find things you think should be in the jank compilation. Uh, and if you're fast enough, I'll be able to add them in. I'd really appreciate if you could do that, uh, if you're interested, of course, and if you're able to. Um, otherwise, I'll just be going through it myself and seeing what I can do. But if you have, like, time codes for where you think would be... Just the whole video. <laughs> if you have time codes for where you think it would, uh... Stuff should be in for sure. Uh, just let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and add it in. Alright, well, thanks for joining me. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Have you clipped the camera in the walls? We clipped into a shop once. Uh, Alright, I think that's it for today, so I'll see you next time. As our Paldean adventure continues. Uh, <laughs>